because of some things going on IRL, uh, we didn't have too much for this. So we're going to be doing a flashback episode to something that you might have seen before, uh, mm -hmm. where we're going to be showcasing the raid on the Nightwings HQ. So I'm going to be giving mm -hmm. each of these guys one of their lieutenants uh, to create a character for. Um, so you've already found where to start creating your character, right, Rage? Uh, I mean, I'm on getting beyond. Okay, then you're creating a character. You're all good to go. And afterwards, I just need to like take the uh, web address of the final character. Um, um, but uh, for this, you guys have a selection of people to choose from uh, for this. Mm -hmm. uh, you will have access uh, to the lieutenants or anyone important to uh, the Nightwings themselves. So that's going to be, these are going to be your choices. I'll start with you, Rage, uh, mm -hmm. and you can go from there. Mm -hmm. um, we have access to Puck, Aifa, Volisa, and Aster. Motherfucker. <laughs> you cannot play her, brother. I thought about that, but I kind of want to play Aifa. Would you like to play Aifa? Fuck! Okay. okay. You can choose. Yeah. Whatever, no, whatever speaks to you. It'd be weird to play my brother. I'm gonna play Aifa. <laughs> okay, <it> okay. <laughs> yes, it fucking would. Would it though? Yes. I mean, you, would be, you know, you know. You know. Yeah, you know. No. Uh -huh -huh. You know. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so you chose Aifa. So Aifa is a tabaxi uh, as the race. Where is tabaxi? Oh my god. I somehow did this wrong. I'm, I'm sure I somehow did this wrong. Ooh, yeah, I don't think you have access to the content that I own. Yeah, go to the campaign, Rage. I will campaign. Scroll up. Um, oh. <laughs> go to See, uh, cool. You're gonna go to collections campaigns, or if you hover over your username, uh, you should see uh, the campaign as like an option. Uh -huh. And then you're in a second smile. Go mm -hmm. ahead and uh, view campaign. Mm -hmm. And then you should be able to create Deez. a character in there. Oh, Create okay. unassigned character. I see, I see. Okay. D's, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. D's. Okay, so now if you go to race. Ah, there it is. See okay. if Tabaxi's in there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So, uh, Aifa is a Tabaxi. She is going to be a level 7 uh, Tabaxi that you can choose. Um, I, honestly, just tell me what classes you want to make, and as long as it somewhat makes sense for her, I'll allow it. Is it legacy or just regular tabaxi? Uh, regular it, they both have some different things. I will allow either. Okay. Just like, uh, feel free to look at the differences between them. Okay. Uh, Butler, mm -hmm. is there a character that speaks to you that you would like to make a character for? Um. I can also like speak, uh, list them again if you want. List them again. Sure. Uh, so we've got Volisa, you've got Puck, you've got Polly, you've got Aifa, and you've got Aster. Puck is really speaking to me. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and make Puck. Puck is uh, a human. Gotcha, boss. Uh, now, a, sp a fun thing for Puck, though, is he's Ooh. also a mask user. Oh, mm. I so, got a mask. Did you get to make a. You get to make Puck's mask. Uh, this that giant hat he wears. That's a mask. Is Puck um, a wide brim? I'm not <gasps> answering that. Ooh. Well, but, like, no, no, I'm just Ooh. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what language that is does crazy. he know? Uh, he. Okay, so here's a funny thing. Part of his mask is that he knows. Uh, he has access or proficiency in all languages. Okay. Cool. Oh my god. Okay. Um. That is part of why he is the recruiter for you guys. He can talk yeah, to anyone crazy. and understand them. Yeah, we only pay for the best. You only pay for the best. <laughs> uh, okay. But he is a he is a level eight uh, human. So feel free to add any classes that make sense for him uh, from what you remember of his character, and you'll uh, be chill to go in creating it. Um, Truth, Wax, uh, would you like the list, or is there a character already speaking to you? Um, I kind of want to be Volisa, you know, my left hand man. Okay, 
So you can make a Voli Saw. Voli Saw is also he is so he is half human, half orc. Okay. So if you want to make a half orc character, feel free. Um, but also he is a mask user who has imbibed his mask into his blood. Uh, so you also get to make a mask for him. Ooh. Damn, you two both get mask users? What the fuck? Oh. Yeah. Wait, who level is, is it? That was, which one was, which one did you pick? He picked Volisa. Oh, well. Oh, okay. uh, uh, what, what level he, is so he? So he is a level eight. Let's go. Does he have a designated class? He has, uh, he is a warlock as at okay. least one of his classes. You're allowed to multi-class if you want, but one of them has to be a warlock. Okay. You said blood thing. I thought blood hunter, but I guess we love. I mean, if you want to. If you want to have Bloodhunter as one of his stuff. Ooh, yeah, no, you're so right. You're so right. Yeah, I, I said just one of them has to be Warlock. He could be a level one Warlock and the rest is all Bloodcaster. I don't care. <laughs> um, but feel free to make your characters for that. Talk amongst yourselves about certain builds and things. I'm going to be finishing up the final parts to this uh, little one-shot thing we're going to do. Oh, okay. God. I'm thinking Puck is like a... Since he... He's a... Ruder and things like warlock sorcerer. Ooh. Mm. Okay. I'm thinking okay. I thought more as a monk. I can see Ifa as a monk. Right? Dexterity and wisdom. That. Just picking up weapons after <sighs> Ash Point and her son dying. You know? Dude, Ifa as a monk would be so cool. Right? That's like, what I was thinking. Like, imagine. Rage. That's what. I, that's why I was saying. Like, especially deflecting missiles and like bursts of movement. You know. Oh, what are we doing for defense? Uh, Ooh. ability score generation? Ability score generation. You can do it the way we've done before, where it's roll. Uh, it, it, what is it? Sixty six. Drop the low two, or uh, you can do a point by system. Gotcha. I think, I think she's gonna be a monk. Level seven, you said? Yes. Oh, I think she's gonna be a monk, bitch. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, <laughs> but like, listen, extra attack, slow fall, stunning strike. I feel that. Evade. I feel that. Stillness of mind. You know, so she can calm the fuck down from being angry all the time. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. <gasps> God, I think never... it makes sense. <laughs> never played any spellcasters. Also, if you need something to help uh, ideate for some quick builds, a mm -hmm. site I very highly recommend is RPG Bot. Mm -hmm. uh, they usually go through and they literally highlight like this works with this class, this mm -hmm. works with this race. Uh, and it, it'll mm -hmm. help you sort of spark some ideas. Okay. But it seems like you guys already got some ideas, like, hard going. What would be the difference between acrobatics and athletics? Acrobatics is dexterity, athletics is strength. So you go... Uh, so probably... Really? I thought it was, I would go more acrobatics. It would be more dodging, wouldn't it? Oh, wait, uh, yeah. For monks, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I... <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. Oh, maybe insight. The great mm. old one. The great old Choose a mu one. musical instrument or artisan's tools? Hmm. Uh, Brewer supply no wait, that wouldn't make sense. She was a she was a baker. There's no Well blue brewers mm. Uh huh. Maybe cooks utensils. I feel like. I f okay. I feel like mm -hmm. baking would translate weirdly well into either brewing or alchemy. I could definitely see alchemy. Right, mixing of materials. Yes. Okay. I I have seen quite a few people who have had a cooking background go mm -hmm. into alchemy. Mm hmm. Okay. I think that makes sense because it's like the fi you know measuring ingredients mixing ingredients mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah you're seeing the interaction between elements yeah what is this commit yourself to a monastic tradition 
Ah, oh, motherfucker, what? <laughs> There's so many! Oh, yeah. No. Alright, you're gonna have to wait. Hi, Samantha! Ability score improvement or feet? Like, I'll take a I'll take ability score improvement. Dexterity. Hey, ASI is always worth it. Gaining the ability to use definitely dexterity. Maybe oh, constitution. Oh. Maybe constitution. Gain the ability to defy death. And keep oh undead. man, this is gonna take me so long to read through. Where do I feel? Feel free to use RPG bot. They they give you the spark notes. Yeah, it's mm. really great. Okay. RPG bot. I'm stuck between getting the great, the great mm. old one or the end die. Trying to think. This is monastic tradition. Monk. So his whole thing is like the monk handbook around been... blood. <laughs> mm. Blood. Gotcha. Monk races, yeah, optional. No, like no, why are there so many things? Um, backgrounds? No, skills and tools, race abilities. What? No, Is it like optional class features? Where am I going for? Ah, here we go. Haha, <laughs> I found it. You found uh, it. key to harm and afflict your foes and to heal yourself and your allies. <laughs> oh! It's present ambush your foes. Magical set of arms to fight using your key more than your actual body. Oh. More of a JoJo reference. <laughs> 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 uh, old Drunken Master. That's kind of great. Drunken, Drunken Master is a very great. fun build. Damn, yeah. maybe I want to make a, a monk one of these days. Playing monk is so great. That's why I'm thinking, like, this seems fun. If you get flurry of blows, you can attack like eight times in a turn. Yeah. Dude. That is crazy. Yeah. I want, how do you, how does one, <laughs> how does how one do, you, do? How does, how does, how do, how does, how does, <laughs> me not, me wants now. <laughs> I wish to hit eight, please. <laughs> no way, actually, how do you know? <gasps> Key. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's the key you points that are like essential. You can spend these points to fuel various key features. You start knowing three such features. Fill your bows, patient, defense, and step of the wind. Ooh. Okay. It require your target to move a saving throw to resist. Blah, 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 blah. Immediately after you take the attack action on your turn, you could spend one key point to make two unarmed <clears throat> strikes as a bonus action. So if you have hella key points, you can just keep hitting? Yeah. Mm-hmm. God damn. Okay. That that's how you get those like just absolute flurry where you're like that's, ah, bah, 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 bah. that's cool as shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um uh, how which which one of these lets me have more key? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> Way of the long breath ex or long death exceptionally hard to kill. <laughs> 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 oh, wait. Allows you to preserve your own life by taking others, bitch. <laughs> what? The more I kill, the more I stay alive. That's crazy. That's kind of great. Mm. Okay, I actually really love this idea because it lets you guys explore some more characters and stuff. Butler, thank you for suggesting this. Yeah, that's a good welcome. idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God, it's fun. almost like I'm full of good ideas. Uh, well, that's not them. true, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's why there's a. He just a, can't be stopped. <laughs> listen, that's why there's a random stupid shit butler section in the Google Doc, okay? <laughs> 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 For reasons like that. Mm, damn, I kind of like long death. Although. Long death. That's when we or mercy. Right? Huh? Long death is the fucking one where you teleport, right? Whoa, there's teleport? I do believe you can teleport with it, yes. Yeah, what? like you into people's shadows. It's a, it's a very evasive class of like, yeah. oh, you're gonna hit me? What? Nope, what? Nope. Oh. Uh, yeah. I read that Goku. Goku? 
Yeah, right. I think it's like way of the Sun Warriors. Way of the Cancer. Way of the Long Death. Exceptionally tanky. Very difficult to kill. Lacks useful offensive or utility options. Oh. Yeah. It, it's it's a tank. Like That's you're meant so to like survive a lot, but it's not. Oh. You're doing a lot. What weapon would he have? Uh, Puck actually has not had a cannon weapon yet, so you can whatever. What about Volisaw? No, no, Volisaw Voli <laughs> has five uh, as a pure spellcaster. Oh really? Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can give him a weapon if you want, but I believe the only thing canonically he's used has been a dagger. Okay. I think I'm just going full warlock here. You're going full warlock? Yeah, I feel like that. I feel like that's something Tuck would do. I get that. And remember, Our you two reaping. get to also make your masks uh, for this. Messing with oh. everyone with us, buddy. <laughs> so I shouldn't give him a glaive, right? Uh, you can of give death. him a glaive if you like, and it will now be canon Damn. that he uses a glaive. Let's fucking go. I have no uh, a lot of these characters are still open to interpretation. There's some things that are canon, but like, mm. if you're like, I think this character would be really cool if he used this, I'll be like, okay. Do I want that? Or Is there anything want... canon for uh, Puck? Uh, the only things canon for Puck is that he is the recruiter. So he speaks to a lot of different people. So he has high charisma, which makes yeah. sense for Warlock. Um, he is a mask user of the smile. He has a smile mask. Um, mm. And he is used to hiding in shadows and coming out of places that people don't expect. On top of talking to people, he watches people a lot. I think I did a good... Then the gray one would be a good choice. Because he's usually, like, hiding out in, like, some shadowy corner watching someone fuck up their life and then come in at the last moment going, Hey, you need help? Need I can, help? I can give it to you. <laughs> what if you just sold your life to me? Mm. Eldridge Invocation. <laughs> Hand of Ultimate Mercy. Have a dead party member? Take a short rest to get your key points back if you need to. Then punch your them back to life. <laughs> You only need five key points to use this, and you get 17 per short or long rest at this level? Huh? I get 17 key points? Yeah. Oh. But the thing is, it's like, that's for your full day. So you gotta be like, okay, it's meant to be like an endurance thing usually, but for that's like fair. a one-time battle, boy, you can, you can give, it, give it your all. That's crazy. All right, so I might, I'm, I'm debating between Way of mercy and way of long death. Way of the ascendant dragon. Huh? That the sounds what? cool as shit. I don't um, think that was in my options though. Remind me really quickly. You're creating it Ifa, uh, then there's Puck, and then there's Volisaw. Yes. Okay, so the other characters I need to import in here. That's or no, crazy. I have to import all of them, technically. Hmm. Why can I not? Damn, I might. Mm. Maybe a way of death. I don't know. Would a tank be more useful or someone who can help heal? What do you think? What are you guys creating? Um, I, uh, yeah. I'm getting a call. Give me one second. Oh, good. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Depressy! This looks like Ooh, fun. Yeah. It is, it really is. Creating characters is very interesting. And yeah. then getting to play as them, depending on how much effort or how attached you feel to a character, can be very, very interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or you just pretend like someone you're completely different from. Which is fun. It's a big Especially thing to if, pretend. Like, after you've created one character, you're like, okay, I feel like I've explored what that character can do. Let's try someone totally else different. Mm -hmm. And now you're gonna be like, okay, what what is a very vengeful uh, orphaned <laughs> wife gonna be like, <laughs> who's taking up monk? 
<laughs> I can punch people back to life. <laughs> yeah, you've gone from pure spellcaster to now pure melee. Yeah, I've but that's the best part. <laughs> yeah. I've gone from fucking pure melee to fucking spellcaster. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> but then I have split. Mm -hmm. Damn, I might go way of mercy. Honestly. Yeah. Mm. Wait. Choose a new proficiency skill. What? What Three. happened? What moved? Oh, that moved. Wait, why did? Oh, that was. Oh, it's because it's now proficient. I see. We love That's proficiencies. Fair. Proficiency for I think it was um. Oh, I don't know. Insight. Where it go? Where proficiency? Ah, proficiency. Move right there. I'm done. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so confused by all this. <laughs> uh, I guess it'll be history. Yeah, it was insight. I moved to proficient. I guess. Or something. Oh, sick. You're proficient in insight? I guess so. I don't know. It disappeared, though. I can't choose it anymore. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna forget how to use half of these. Polly, Volisa, Puck, Aster, Ifa. Yes, that was option. all that made it Ooh, here. Oh, increase three scores or increase two scores? <gasps> That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Mm. Then I just. Maybe no, Constitution. Maybe, 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 maybe. Dexterity. Oh. <coughs> okay. okay. Oh, I gotta learn the Eldritch Bat last, of course. What language do I know? What language does Ifa know? Uh, so she would know common. She would know. Or what's the Tabaxi language? <laughs> no idea. Uh, do, 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 do. Tabaxi is. Uh, Payit. <laughs> Payit. P a y i t. As Kaizen, I don't, I don't, am I blind? Maybe. You probably it's, are. If it's not there, uh, then it's fine. Uh, okay. There's not much that's going to come up with languages in this one. No, I'll just put halfling. Are you guys just doing character sheets today? No, um, so what we're doing is because we, we were all kind of busy this, like, couple of weeks. Um, we're doing a flashback to something that happened, um, to a completely different side of a country than we're on currently with our current characters so we're doing a flashback to that um and playing as characters who are in that place during yeah. that time so they learned that their hq got raided while they were away so mm -hmm. they're flashing back and being like okay how how was it raided how their lieutenants do mm -hmm. what did they save what did they give up mm -hmm. so that's what we're doing today so it's more of like um like a one-shot time filler kind of vibe than the or actual like campaign campaign. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Ifa would be a haunted one. Oh my god, yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh my god, not even as a joke, she'd be a haunted one. She's literally she was made into that. <laughs> Motherfucker, dude. That's so depressing. Oh, by the way, we do know these characters. Like our characters have run into these characters. Some on multiple yes. occasions, some once. So we do know these characters. Just not in like part. Yeah, but just not in like gruesome detail like we're currently doing. <laughs> yeah. Now now you get to actually they're they're gonna be having some more life in them after this. Yeah. It's almost like we're fleshing these characters out more than anything else. Mm -hmm. Skill proficiencies? Oh my god, investigation. Oh my god, survival, yes. Oh no, not languages again. Motherfucker, do I have to pick languages? 
<laughs> Please. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Celestial. <laughs> what the fuck is undercommon? Uh, undercommon is the language mostly associated with like dark elves and stuff. Like people oh. who've been who were part of common society and got driven underground. Oh. Um, dwarves also are part of it. Uh, that's fair. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, why is this actually just accurate now? Those who look into your eyes can see that you have faced unimaginable horror and that you are no stranger <laughs> to darkness. Though they might fear your commoners will extend you every curse and do their utmost to help you. That's literally IFA. That's <laughs> literally IFA. <laughs> oh no. That's so depressing. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, suggested characteristics. Mm. I refuse to become a victim and I will not allow others to be victimized. That's crazy. Add. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't know if that's her. Mm. Plus. Thank you. Well. No, that would be so depressing because he's dead. No. Uh -oh. Fuck uh -oh. the bond section. I have a child to protect. I must make the world a safer place for him or her. No. And he's you failed dead. that bond. He's dead. He did. He's so dead. <laughs> mm. I assume the worst in people. That's her. <laughs> That's that her now. That is absolutely what Ifa is about. Yeah. Now? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not before. Maybe before Timmy it. died. But oh, That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna do all these like physical, personal stuff. Like the characteristics. I, I think we're good. Right? Should I do this? Mm. Mm? Sorry, what? the um what's it called all the like character details physical personal characters no, you don't need to do all of that yeah okay you we we, we know what they look like we know what they're about <laughs> yeah hey ray you've seen that guy in the middle before nah 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 no way nah nah i don't think so he's new which guy in the middle <laughs> Uh, uh, but Butler, she, she meant Butler. What? No. She uh, said, huh? uh, uh, I mean, uh, no, I uh, Dare, there. Dare. Huh? Dare. Huh? Who? What? Anyways. I'm sorry. That's that's news to me. <laughs> Ooh, possessions. Do we have any possessions? Uh, possessions you can make. I will. I will allow that. Um, oh it just God. depends on what kind of possessions you'd like. What the fuck would Ifa have? Do I have suggestions already? Huh? No, I'm just looking through spells. Ah. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm glad at least I don't have to look through all the spells. I've already done that before. <laughs> I mean, it's easy, it's easy with fucking RPG, but I'm not gonna uh, lie. Ah, that's fair. That's fair. I have hex already. Mm. So I do. She found Timmy, right? She did find Timmy, yes. Okay. Well, what would Timmy have that she hates? Well, she found the life. parts of Timmy. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> I still can't believe. Listen. <laughs> I think you forget who I was playing with. Uh, Constantly. Yeah. <laughs> and what those people were like. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm gonna get fly. I'm gonna fly. You're the fly. I'm stuck on the last. Okay. 
So we've got mm. this. Oh my god. Can she have an amulet? With like some yeah. of Timmy's like fur in it. <laughs> With Timmy's fur in it. <laughs> I was gonna say a whisker, but I feel like that'd be weirder. That's so that's so sad. I never said this was a good idea. <laughs> yeah, you're true. That's right. You're right. I literally right, said this right. was gonna be a bad idea, and <laughs> we're going with it. <laughs> like I told you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay, so that was a yes. All right, cool. Yes. <laughs> uh, wait. Would no, any of these people? Have have magic items uh some could yes okay it just if you give me a if you look through those magic items and there's like something specific that calls out to you i am much more willing to give it to you if there's like any kind of somewhat canonical reason gotcha if you're like hey he does a lot of this he probably has this to help i'll be like yeah chill mm -hmm. are we doing the uh what are we doing for abilities what do you mean, what are you doing for abilities? <laughs> Ability 4. Mm. Uh, you can either roll 66, drop the lowest 2, uh, to get your score. Um, or you can do a point by system. Luck be thy lady tonight, am oh, I right? I didn't even roll. My bad. <laughs> God damn, so you, okay. I could, Shit. Lower, I could drop the lower two, right? You should oh drop the God. lowest two, I believe. Yeah. What, oh what'd my you get? God. 14, uh, 7, 15, 12, seven. 10, and 16. Seven was the lowest. But that's also in your dexterity. Oh, no. No, I get to pick. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, pick, 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 pick. Yeah, I'm picking. No, it's it's 66 it's drop the lowest two? It should, oh, that's how it got is. You, right? Got you, got you. And my charisma's gonna be seven. Let's be real. I mean, she ain't very charismatic anymore. You reroll the lowest two. Not reroll was... the lowest two, drop the lowest no. two. Oh, that's for you lowest. guys who are doing it the yeah. other way, yeah. So in the end, you only have four D6 that you actually choose from, which gives you, like, it, it should never equal over 20. You should have a average of around 14 to 16. No, so wait. actually. Wait, well. Should I do that? Bruce, oh. Um... Maybe that? Charisma 7's fine, right? For monks, uh, it's what? Dexterity, yeah. strength. What do what do what do monks uh, need? Uh dexterity and constitution for monks. Yeah. Uh, dexterity being the highest. Okay, so I have okay. Okay, I can switch those two. Give me more health. Okay, so I have 14 strength, 7 charisma, 15 constitution, 12 intelligence, 10 wisdom, and 16 dexterity. Does that make sense? Is that okay? Mm hmm Yeah. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Damn! Okay. Yeah, charisma's got a negative 2. <laughs> That's okay. I'm fine with that. My lowest was a nine. Nice. My charisma is gonna be nineteen. Nice. I feel like Ifa would need a weapon, right? Uh, most monks go unarmed really? with their stuff, but you yeah. could, yeah. Because you should have a feat that are like your unarmed strikes do more damage, but uh, mm. if you don't have oh. that. You should be able to create something if you like. Cause you just have like a like a storage of a shit ton of daggers. <laughs> if you like. <gasps> okay. I'll, I'll give you. Uh, you can roll a d6 plus one and see how many daggers that she has in her body. 
Uh, Chris. 1d6 plus 1? Yeah. With a rod. So that you have at least like two daggers. Oh, two daggers. Ooh, the, the crit failed. I cry. That's okay. Another armor, <laughs> a staple weapon, and two daggers. Oh, so it's just leather armor. What is that? Oh, this doesn't even give me. Please. Should I add leather armor then? Armor. If you'd like. Leather. Add. Okay. I think I don't. I, I think I'm done. <laughs> okay. And I am almost done as 59 well. 59 hit points. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it feels nice having a lot of HP. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I fucking have like none as Zinnia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Comparatively? Yeah. Kind of nice. Five feet range bonus action. Two weapon fighting. Oh, wait. What? What does two weapon fighting mean? You can have like one in each hand. Yes. Yeah. Um, so your bonus action can be basically a second attack. Uh, okay. But with monk, you usually just have like. You're on the you just go. <laughs> yeah, you just, you just go. go. No, no <laughs> weapons, <laughs> just fifth. Oh, you can <laughs> use your claws to make unarmed strikes. When you hit with them, you deal one d six plus two slashing damage. Yeah. So that's already buffing that's your unarmed strikes. That's crazy. Yeah. God yeah, damn. <laughs> Dude, Barbarian Tabaxi? Not yeah. Barbarian, Monk, Monk Tabaxi? Tabaxi? Yeah. Monk Tabaxi? Like, the, those, those pair will really well together, actually. Damn. Yeah. Okay, Ooh, let me just read through this shit. Oh my god. Punch, kick, headbutt, use a similar forceful blow, and deal budgeting damage. Oh, okay. After you take the attack action, I turn you can attack. Spend one key point to make two. Is there a general attack. skeleton for how you do masks? You spend uh, one. there sort of is. I don't want to give away the whole beast right oh. now. I mean, impressed. I Through a mask creation that. process with you guys. Uh, once you're ready. Oh, okay. Ready. Uh, you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready whenever ready. you are. Okay. Um. Then. Let's do, uh, let's do wax Bruh. first, since you asked. Uh, Deflect uh, missiles attack. So, the first thing with creating a mask is, what does Puck uh, want to solve? What is a great yeah, need wait. in his I, life? I, I, I skipped past things, hold on. Huh. You can spend one key point to take the <laughs> yeah, dodge I mean, action as a bonus okay. action on your turn. You can spend one I would point. say... Disengage or dash action as a bonus. I would action say your just jump distance is doubled for the turn. The way they need to be, because like especially what? working under truth, truth like I feel like it's just like truth is going to try and nitpick and things like that. With an he's obviously yeah. only going to be complaining to turn, Holy you can Saw make one uh, when he has strike as a to bonus action. To. So, so you just he's hit probably twice someone who just is almost anyways? kind of like making sure. Things so are where they need I to my, be type of thing. I have myself muted okay. so you can hear both um, me and them. <laughs> then the next but they bit can't hear is, uh, does missiles. he does he rather have confrontation or does he rather um, avoid confrontation? Like taking care of things in the shadows versus taking range. care of things out in the open. Um, an attack when you do so the damage you take I from the attack say, is reduced by 1d10 like plus from a business 11. standpoint as zero, like have, like and being have a kind hand. of like the third in charge almost when it comes attack. to like things with the night wings probably more upfront what? just to kind of like keep that intimidating if you have a free hand you can just throw almost. that shit back like wow Dude, truth and they are that's off. crazy Got if you reduce so damage to zero and have a free hand you can spend with two points to make a rage attack making things the way they need to be you can uh, use your reaction me, when you fall to reduce any falling, reality distortion falling effects damage you take of by like, 35? Uh, he either has like a bend Dude, luck what? ability or, um, okay. so, or like a this lucky is, ability of like re-rolling things to go, no, so it much. happens this way, it has to happen this way. Uh, when as well as a command your ability. Turn in combat, or no, for Volisaw at least, Volisaw would have use, you can't um, use this trait again until that kind of stuff. He, on so if we do a system with his blood magic that lets him re-roll or bend luck, um, that is probably what his mask would imbibe. Uh, 
once Use once a day he can add a d6 turn. to any okay, ability check or saving throw uh that he wants um for any of his allies that are willing points or any willing creature the and then DC once per week uh he can spend D a d6 of okay. a d6 plus three when of his own life uh creature, in order to add that, that or subtract that to any role affecting the creature by indefinite paralyzed poison or stun huh? Use hand of harm on a creature to cool. okay. subject that creature to that, poison condition until the end of your next mask turn. Would be, <gasps> if that makes sense for you. When you hit with a melee I, I, weapon yeah. attack, I'd you can spend one key point to make the target stunned until sense. the end of your next yeah, turn. His whole thing is about like things have to be how throw. they are because he's That's being crazy. and such. But oh it's at the my God. risk of his own life force or like the stresses that they endure. So he's giving up his life to be like, no, that doesn't happen. Okay, it has to so be you this could way. do, so you could do action okay. hit. Yeah. One thing that bonus I, I, action I, hit I, or I didn't know flurry we of blows, which is two more that hits. I came up with, I'm gonna send it to you because I either want you to veto it or it, like, because that would that would take the place of the the one d six plus three ability, Wait, okay. but I could still Hold take on. damage for so, it if you wanted. Flurry um, of blows. But I want you to veto or deny it in secret, because this would be something that I'd want to break out. You know, he only spend would, you only spend one key point at a time. I assume you can spend more yeah, yeah, than yeah, one yeah. key yeah. point If you want turn. that to be it, I'm fine with As that. Bonus it actions. just has to be um, right. It wouldn't be the modifier you're talking about. It would be the health pool. That's great. Oh, okay. So I can okay. hit so twice, like the 1D6 no matter plus what. Instead of the modifier. Basically. Yes. Uh, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Damn. So you're giving up your own life to like make things That's how they are supposed crazy. to be. Crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. God damn. <laughs> but yeah, could we go with that one then? I'm down for that. Let's go. Uh, I would also say I would give it charges. Oh, okay. Uh, you can you can have three charges each oh, requiring but for a side note, D6 this is where three, we are currently uh, as buy-in. our characters to like okay. activate it. So gotcha. this is gotcha. me. Like that. That's uh, wax. And then so and that's, that's, that's Butler. his We're on a once ship. a week ability. And this is our once a week ability okay. uh, that he gets those three charges. And okay. let's let's do it this way because I feel like that could be pretty powerful at the beginning. He gotcha. does a D six plus three to activate it, and then he can. Uh, do right, that while to they're doing all that, I'm actually going to go into the bathroom real quick. So I'll be back in okay. a minute. I like that. Yeah. I'll sit tight while they gotcha. figure out their characters. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited too. This is fun. We basically just like, <laughs> like sketched out a one shot like instantly. Yes, sir. Uh, let's go in here. <laughs> uh, and Butler, are you ready for yours? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, what would uh, what is a great need that your character has? Um, I feel like uh, Puck is very like he he awaits from the shadows, waiting and investigating his targets before he makes a move. Mm -hmm. uh, before he decides to um, unveil himself in the shadows to sort of recruit people or even um, try to do anything at first. Yeah. Um, he is more of an opportunist striker, if you will. So. Okay. But what is his great if, need? So that's great. what he's doing, but like, what's okay. a a problem that he runs into a lot by doing that um where he's like i it has to like this thing has to happen and it's just not happening mm. Mm. Uh, uh. Blank. you're all good you're all good Take, take some time to think about it. And I have this, I've got that. I might, hello. What I missed. 
about this? All right. <laughs> Side note, I'm ready whenever. <laughs> cool. Uh, you don't have a mask to make, if I remember correct. Nope. Okay. Then, if you can, send me the link, uh, like the finalized link to your character sheet. I will import your character. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Um, I think that's perfect. it. Cool. Um, I think uh, a great need for uh, uh, Puck is to be able to, I mean, he... The mask already grants him uh, language, right? Yes. Uh, then spell, I guess. Like, he's, he needs to be able to um, stalk his prey. Okay. Uh, one quick thing, the D the database importer isn't working. I think I gotta kick you guys out for a quick second. Okay. Um, set in module settings, DDB importer. Wait a second. Let me double check this really quick. Maybe this will fix it. Um... Where was where was the issue with with iPhone? Where was, where was it happening here? <laughs> uh, if we start an import, it goes no to this. Go to module settings, DDB importer, and then compendiums. What what about them? You ever just turn off your line art and then see the color underneath and just it looks like shit? <laughs> oh yeah, and you're like, what the <laughs> fuck? It's like, what happened? I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That has never happened to me. Mm. Could have never happened. That's crazy. Could have never happened. Imagine not having the same experience as, Edda, as us. What a loser. Oh, what God. a loser. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you've never had the same experience as us. Uh, yeah, what the fuck? God, what a loser. Am I right, Ray? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Ray's not even oh. in here anymore. <laughs> Ray's gone. You got Dona walled by Damn. a viewer. What a loser. Get, you're the idiot. I can't believe she left. What betrayal, Damn. honestly. Uh, <laughs> so we go back to this again. We do a start import. Error processing character, error, unable to open the compendium. Oh, it's not opening the free Flat. loot tavern thing. Uh, mm. I don't care about that. How do I tell <laughs> it I don't care? <laughs> That's a great question. Wax, shouldn't you be making a mask? I already did. I sent why it to you, Zuri. Why are you worried yes. about me drinking water, huh? I don't know. I had <laughs> boba points to spend. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, yeah, the one all right. I need well, to make a mask for still is Butler. Ah, yeah. uh, what a loser. Oh god. Imagine not being ready. There it That's is. crazy. Uh, Imagine. Default. Imagine? Insane. Insane. Okay. In the membrane. Uh, what insane? You got no brain. I'm going to. I'm making a, a friend. Locally is uh, running an IRL campaign. Ooh! About like it's like completely um, homebrew about superheroes. Nice. <laughs> and I made a character named Honey. She's gonna have. She's gonna make bees. Bees. <laughs> Just bees. I can't believe it. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. The main bee. His name is Benny. Benny B. Benton. Stretch and get a compliment. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, uh, well... Okay, I've got it working now. Uh, so Butler, <laughs> you said what was his yep. great need? Uh, great need is to stay within the shadows. To stay within Period. the shadows. Okay. Uh, and 
this usually would probably be answered now then by the other one um what is his approach to solving problems out in the shadows or out in the light out in the shadows yep so he's gonna be doing a thing that's probably giving him more stealth or being able to reset himself after showing himself uh so i would probably be like something that's coming to my mind is for every turn uh that he is not noticed he gets an additional die to his next sneak attack um could be a, a way to go about it uh even though he is a warlock that's a very like sneaky kind of thing like yeah. maybe he can add it to his spell dc um for and then after an attack he can use an action uh to like fully hide like the hide action is sort of like a chance this one can be like no you're back in the shadows you could be like right in someone's blind spot and they don't even know um that's what's at least sticking to my mind is there another kind of effect that's sticking in yours mm, not really uh, then <laughs> let's make it uh that for every Every turn he doesn't strike and is not being attacked, uh, he is able to add one d6 to his next attack, whether it is spell or physical. Um, so basically he's like saving up to just get like one giant strike in. Uh, and then after an attack, while uh, once a week while being attacked, he gets three charges. Uh, he can use a full action to disappear into the shadows no matter where he is and he will not be attacked next turn. Good. Cool. Uh, also, if you guys notice in your characters, you should have access to each of your characters now. Um, the ones I still need links for are for Butler and for Wax. Uh, I have Wax's, I'm importing yours now. Butler, once yours is done, let me know. Uh, and so this one is here, bop, bop, and start import and default and your character should now be in there and available for you i think never mind mm -hmm. export to pdf uh no i just need the link of your final uh character sheet oh, okay and then just like dm it to me yeah gotcha Okay, thank you for also going through this, like, rapid-fire character creation process, guys. Yeah. I had fun. I know we don't have too much time today, but let's see what we can do from here. Um, as I import the final character and everyone else is set up and ready to go. Um, I'm going to do a default here. Okay, so you've got that going. Got this. I just need to now add you guys on to this part, and then we will begin. So for everyone else, thank you for sticking by, seeing what's going on. We will be ready to start momentarily. Uh, let's go. Okay, so <clears throat> as you guys come back from uh, the usual place, having encountered uh, all of the things you have before, uh, and the revelation that you've come across of uh, what has happened to not just rain, but snow, hail, and however many others are out there. Uh, you think back to, uh, or the characters uh, here, um, Zinnia, Dare, Truth, you start thinking back to all of the things that led you over here. And Zinnia, you remember that those you deeply cared for, your brother included, are still back home in Braidor, where the assault happened. Mm -hmm. uh, and this assault weighs on your mind, not knowing exactly how uh, it went down. And that's when uh, the scene sort of fades. The camera goes back up into the clouds. The clouds cover the rest of the scene as you have a look of worry on your face and you talk to the others, wondering if maybe like there is a need to go back or to save them when truth uh you can only hear now uh a small whisper of i trained them the best i could 
uh, they were built for something like this. And if it push comes to shove, they'll make sure what needs getting out will get out. And we come back over here. Uh, do them first. All of them no, playing no, at no, once. No. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold up. This is what I meant. Ah. No. Ah. <laughs> uh, let's do this kind. Um, when. As uh, night falls on the Nightwing's HQ, uh, dark whispers can be heard off in the side as... Uh, wait, do you guys have access to see this? I just realized I don't have your characters here, but like you guys can see uh, this artwork, right? Yeah. Well, I... Tight. Okay. Art, yeah. Love that. Um, darkness falls on the Nightwing's as... Uh, the commanders uh, here, the lieutenants left behind by Truth and Dare, Volisaw and Puck, uh, notice a large gathering of soldiers come to the Nightwing's HQ. They know that they've been found out, that usually all of the magical wards that they had to subtly convince people, a, a sort of magical barrier shield that makes people just happen to walk the other way when they come within its borders have failed they have been found out and that a large army is gathering to take over their headquarters they remembered the words left behind by truth and dare more likely truth but mm -hmm. uh, that they are in charge of this that this is the home of the Nightwings and that should it fall they need to make sure that whatever is important to the Nightwings gets out even though this is their home, it's the contents within that truly make up the heart of the Nightwings. Puck and Volisa, if you'd like to discuss uh, some strategy, you feel free. You see a large army gathering out before you here. Um, okay, okay. Um, I assume Volisa would probably be barking out orders, probably more confident than I can at the moment. Um... <laughs> is he is he leaving Puck to go start barking orders? No, he would probably be yell shouting orders, sitting standing next to Puck, and then kind of turn to Puck and kind of be like, really quick, what would Volisaw know are kind of like the main things to secure? Volisaw knows that there are three uh, important parts uh, to the Nightwing's headquarters. There are the escape tunnels that can save more people uh, around here, where if you funnel people towards that, they should be able to get away before, or while the uh, above ground is being overtaken and you will save personnel. There's the vault with all of the treasures of the Nightwings that creates your uh, entire treasury, funds your expeditions and everything. Um, that is also important to be taken out uh, with its own escape tunnel. And finally, there is the uh, where is it? Uh, the great uh, library and studies of all of the knowledge accumulated by truth, especially in his uh, library and his study. Um, Ooh. You can either Ooh. save the knowledge, the treasury, or the people. By seeing uh, everything that is before you here, you know that there is only time to save one. Damn. Um, okay. And you said the treasury has its own tunnel? The treasury has its own tunnel. The uh, the study technically has an escape route near it, but it's not in the study itself gotcha. or the great library itself. And the um, the other tunnel for the people is obviously an escape tunnel. It's at this moment that Ifa also is running along the ramparts. After you've barked your first orders, a call uh -huh. to arms of sorts. Uh -huh. uh, Ifa, as you run along the ramparts to where you see Volisa barking his orders and wondering which part he needs to save, Puck mm -hmm. sort of off to the side, uh, pondering himself, his expression unable to be seen uh, through his mask. You can't help but think of the great invasion that happened on Ash Point. 
and how your town was once taken over by a large, unformidable force such as this, you are facing a second encounter of unfortunately the same kind that took away Timmy. And uh. all you can hear to the outside is the solemn chants of Braydor's mask retrieval unit. Uh, I'm gonna yell at him, what are you doing? We gotta get all these people out. I'm gonna yell back to Ifa. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, plan is right now, we're having everybody exit through the tunnel that's attached to the treasury. Everybody is grabbing as much as they can and taking it down. That's gonna be the best way that we can keep track of everybody and get as much loot out as possible. Forget the library. Oh my God. Truth has read every <laughs> book in there. He doesn't still need them. Uh, we I know it. about the library, right? You know about the library, yes. Each okay. of these three things, you, Ifa has surprisingly gone up in the ranks very quickly after joining. Honestly, uh, I can see her, that for her. <laughs> yes, through her dedicated, like, tunnel vision mind of revenge. Um, mm -hmm. She knows that the only way to get true revenge on the people she needs is by getting further in the organization here. And she has made it her life's mission to do everything she can to the point that Volisa and Puck know her by name. Okay, I'm going to um, yell them like, "You are you really worried about the library? If you're worried about the library, you should be worried about them getting the information. If anything, burn the library, we get everyone out. That's what we should be worried about right now. Uh, Bully saw is gonna stand there a little confused because he said that we don't care about the library. Burn like, it. All right, that's a good plan. <laughs> we'll burn it then. Um, but for the most part, we're sending everybody through the treasury out that yeah. tunnel so that they can grab what they can. Okay. No, because my okay. thinking is if, if it's information that Truth has, it might have information on other Nightwings, so it'd be better to burn it and get rid of it so then they can't just, you know. Just saying. That's <laughs> smart. I, as <laughs> Truth, I'm not entirely sure what is in the library. So. That's what I'm saying. Like, maybe it's just better we burn it. <laughs> As, yeah. as true, uh, I can give you a quick refresher for this, um, uh -huh. or at least wax. Like, so truth has accumulated <laughs> every single piece of knowledge that he's had trying to search over like who the sec who the smiles uh, colleagues are, who the mm -hmm. smile is, all of the grand knowledge of what is out there about the masks because he had mm -hmm. been so like intent on like what is the smiles will and what how has he even come to be. But on top of that, there's also the entire knowledge database of the Nightwings and all of their headquarters, all their various branches, um, <laughs> and ongoing operations, because you use that as a planning, uh, like, mm -hmm. citadel, basically. And then finally, there is a section in the library that is about every single possible race, creature, or beast out there because of your hunting, uh, hunt mm -hmm. mark ability, uh, that you wanted to be like, I need to know what I need to get uh, to appease my deity i need to know what is out there so i can know how to take it down and i need all of my information here on how i am controlling this entire organization that is everything that's held within the library huh. i'm gonna assume we have some subroutine <laughs> that is to detonate this library <laughs> but uh, no 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 i'm just kidding no, no there but... is not <laughs> all right so yeah so if you want that library gone one of you has to go and burn that fucker down Man, if only, if only, if only I knew <laughs> I'm physical, fireball. I don't got, I don't got any of that. Oh, what are my spells? That's crazy. <laughs> if we... one of you also does not want to go, you can't command part of your troops. As part of this, um, it's not fully fleshed out, obviously, but you guys do have troops you can command. You could sacrifice them, knowing that they will not be able to escape with the rest in the tunnels. And say um, your mission, your final mission, is to burn that thing down. Wait, they are isn't not there? To aren't there tunnels in from the library? Didn't you say? There There's is a no escape part. near the library. Mm. However, <laughs> they will be going against uh, a much larger force, and without their lieutenants there to command them, they mm. will have a much uh, lower chance of success of escaping on top of getting it done. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm the, assuming the odds will we change if you're like, hey, up, you're right? gonna die, burn it, or hey, you need to burn it and escape. Mm -hmm. The Nightwings um, are loyal to you, though. They will not, uh, they will not yield. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Volisaw is gonna yell down. He's gonna find a group of, like, 
eight night wings and he's gonna look at whichever one he know he likes more and he's probably gonna take out probably one of the only few keys to truth study and he's gonna hand it to him and basically like tell all eight of them your last mission as night wings is to make sure this library gets burnt down to the ground if you make it back to me alive i'll give you your second mission and then he's gonna basically send them off that's so uh, fucked up what the <laughs> hell you give the key to one of them uh he is a tall uh so actually this is a great moment um so he would be a tall yole in here uh-huh. uh oh. he is uh he is stout in uh in his height uh he's built out and he's like a giant wall of a man with his burly furry forearms he takes the key in his hand and you hear a little a snort come from his uh nostrils as he understands the dire situation that is before you and he goes if we escape the debt is cleared i'm not coming back that's fair all right that's fair i will do this for you I will make sure the Nightwings live on. And he looks to the rest of his men and goes, All right, men. Say your last prayers in your heart because now comes the hour. And he just walks off with the rest of them. Wait, do do they know where, like, are there any, I like, know where the canis- library is. No, I mean, like, are there, like, canisters of oil that we have? Or, oh, like, yes. Because I know they, we have torches. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yes. Are going to the napalm cabinet? <laughs> yeah. going to the napalm cabinet, yeah. Hand no, grenades? He, he knows, oh, yeah, he knows how to set that thing alight, and he is going and preparing his men for that mm-hmm. final confrontation. Okay. Fully he saw be... just under his breath. It's going to be like, that was badass. And then get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He will be successful. The only thing is if he will be successful in also escaping with his life. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, True. So you have... You have decided oh. that you will burn the library and its contents within. You mm-hmm. have decided to forsake the treasury. And you have decided to get your people to safety. Er, no, we're taking no, everybody to... through the tunnel, through the treasury. Oh, through the treasury. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So we're having everybody grab like as much as they can, and everybody's going out the tunnel through the treasury. As you do that, and you are gathering all of the people... I want you all to roll me a perception check. Gotcha. And then, specifically, Volisa, I need you to uh, roll a chariz- or um, uh, a persuasion check. No, just be straight charisma. Yeah. Gotcha. Do we have yeah. control of the... Ooh, you don't have control of your people? No. Like, Here, the... that's the reason we need your tokens out. Just a second. Mm-hmm. Uh, you will see tokens going out on the field for Hi-ba. you guys to access your character sheets. Hey, fuck. What are we rolling? You are rolling perception checks, and I need Voli Saw yes. to also roll a straight charisma check to see how many people you're able to get around you. Gotcha. Mm. Ooh, 15. Why is it? They put you guys to the right when you roll. Interesting. I just need to... Okay. Uh, perception, right? Mm-hmm. Perception for you, yes. Thirteen on perception. Oof. Okay, Ifa, you're the one mm-hmm. to notice this. Uh, as you as um, Voli saw is busy barking orders, just intent on making them go out. Um, and you get a he gets a a decent amount of people following his orders. The rest are sort of like running around in the chaos of what is mm-hmm. to come. Um, and Puck meanwhile is like quietly from the shadows just motioning to people this way this way mm-hmm. um you notice that there are two people how are you keep doing this puck <laughs> you keep like putting yourself like in this weird position I, I have no idea what i'm doing uh okay um you notice that there are two people that are not amongst the crowd mm-hmm. aster and polly mm-hmm. they do not seem to be anywhere around here and that is when you remember that Aster, uh, having sort of been uh, coming down with more of a sickness in the mm-hmm. last coming weeks, unsure why, um, has made it a habit to go down into the escape tunnels to be preparing himself um, as like a sort of training ground. He's been going down there, putting up like dummies uh, for such and trying to get himself into better shape, a mm-hmm. uh, healthy body, healthy mind, hopefully. Um, you don't know where Polly could be, though. But you know mm-hmm. that Aster is definitely not around to be hearing the orders at the moment. 
Does do we know where like which escape tunnel? Uh, the underground ones. The ones that we're gonna go through. The ones that you're not going through. Oh. The ones that were made for the mass amount of people. Also, uh, as a as a thing for this, sorry, um, based mm -hmm. on your charisma check, um, as mm -hmm. well, Bully saw, uh, some of the people come up to you going, those secret tunnels were meant for all of us to go through. Like, the, the ones that were underground were built for all of us. Uh, only, like, around half of us would actually be able to get in there, along with all of you in time. We should really send them through the underground ones, because then we can grab... Can we split mm -hmm. people up? You can split people up. Absolutely. There will be different DCs that are increasing or decreasing based on that. Um, mm -hmm. But you you can absolutely direct people wherever you want. You okay. will not be able to get all of the people and all of the gold if you choose the middle option, though. Yeah. I think it'd be better if we send, like, if we split, since we have the three of us, we split into two and one. Mm-hmm. So the two go to the main underground, and then the one go through the treasury, so you can still grab at least something. If that's, mm -hmm. you know, like, try to go for the most valuable things, of course, but, you know, still feasibly grab something. Gotcha. Was, and then you can still save the m most amount of people. Although it does split the power a little bit, but... It does. If we draw attention to one over the other, at least a definite amount of people would survive. All right. Then we could throw you two at the tunnel, and then mm -hmm. I'll stay with the gold, and I'll tell both of you, you both need to save Aster, because if he doesn't get saved, Truth is going to kill me. Um, <laughs> and then I'll send both of you off to the tunnel, and then I'll then we'll, we'll split them down halfway. The people? And I'll overlook the treasury. Okay. okay, you okay. decide to split the people around here half and half. Half yeah. going with the treasury, just enough to fit in, and the other half to easily squeeze through the underground escape tunnels. Yes. Um, those forces will also impact the amount of people you're facing in each of these coming trials. Mm -hmm. um, as you bark these final orders, Volisaw, you hear the hymns grow louder outside. The mass retrieval unit grows closer. And with a loud bang, you hear the crunch of wood and timber as the front door cracks down. And you see before you two uh, people. Just a second. And we have no idea where Polly is? You have no idea where Polly is. Oh, Polly. Sun penis, sun penis, sun penis. <laughs> uh, just a second. I need to make for that. You see ah, two sun. figures enter are. through the cracked walls. Albagor glides in through the dust and the rubble, completely, uh, completely unfazed by all the dis wants and destruction around him as a flood of his acolytes flood in uh, around him. They're tearing everything down. This is sort of like a blitzkrieg right now where they're just trying to create as much chaos as possible as you guys watch from the uh, second story banisters. Clev, meanwhile, uh, is uh, not seen at first. And then there's a sudden crunch in the stone. A large crack forms. And then all of the stone bursts forward, not falling to the ground, but floating upward. And then hurling itself at all of the other people uh, trying to come around with you, Valley Volisaw. Some striking them through the hearts, through the heads. Um, and Clev walks in calmly through the opening that he made. His own ammunition uh, created from your own headquarters. He has turned each brick into a bullet, and he is sending them through people left and right as he scans the battlefield going, Ah... Uh, I let's get this over with. And then he looks at you. And he sees you three. And even though you can't see his reaction behind the mask, you see that his sights have been dead set on you. And Albagor sights have been dead set on the other two as you two run away, or as you three split up and run away from the second story banisters, your people close behind. 
the uh, moment Clev looks me in the eye, my like my big right hand that's covered in all of this like either scars or tattoos or whatever they are, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna drop it behind me and I'm gonna make my packed weapon appear as the glaive appears in my hand. As that's why nobody's seen Vully saw with the glaive. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Nice. And he's just also staring daggers at Clev. <laughs> um, Daggle. That here. Uh, and so which one would you guys like to go with first? Uh, would you like to see our uh, vault battle, or would you like to see the underground tunnels? Mm, I don't really care either way. Yeah, I'm down for whatever. I don't mind okay. either way. <laughs> uh... I am going to ask you guys to just flip a coin for me, then. Yeah, all three of you. Just a roll a 1d2. 1d2. Oh. I got a 2! I got a, I got a 2! Okay, so since Puck is the one who rolled the highest, we will start with Puck uh, here first. <laughs> um, so mm -hmm. let's go to... Uh, so, way. as <laughs> uh, Puck, as you and Ifa uh, run down with the rest of the people, uh, you make your way to you make your way past the market, uh, seeing all of the people that are gathered in there. Uh, you notice that the other acolytes have broken in before you in this area. All of the markets have been slain. Ifa. You notice a familiar face, a baker that was there, his throat slit, and his body Ooh. rolling over. <gasps> Polly's dead? Mm-hmm. Oh, That's fucked up. Rest you steal power, yourself, Polly. knowing that there is only more to come from this, and that you have to prepare yourself to save mm. what you can, to not let a second ash point happen again. You continue running knowing that there is no one left to save here. You then run past the study, seeing all of the books that are run uh, that are set up in there, and you notice the mm -hmm. eight Nightwings that were sent beforehand, torches in hand, mm -hmm. oil throwing all over it, as they look, uh, as the tall Yol turns his, um, his head back to you, noticing you running with everyone else. He gives you a solemn nod, and he mm -hmm. returns back to his work when then you hear an explosion behind you. More acolytes have found their way in, and you hear, All right, lads. This is the final stand. Uh, and the fighting continues. Mm -hmm. You have no chance but to continue. When finally, you make your way to the escape tunnels. And once you've loaded in, I will continue with... <laughs> 99% We love the 99 99% <laughs> Let's go <laughs> Nice oh, okay. in. Uh, You enter in Down into the sewers uh, the escape tunnels that have been crafted specifically if you guys had been raided. The rest of your people in tow. Uh, they have been knocking down acolytes that they can. Not for kills, but just to buy time. It is a race against time itself, knowing that with this overwhelming force, the only route is to escape. Mm -hmm. And you see before you, in the center of this, and a makeshift uh, training ground of planks floating on the surface of the sewer waters is Aster. Uh, surrounded by the others. He had been trying to just get a training session in when he saw all these acolytes go around him. And held in the arms of another acolyte is Polly. Uh, wait. Or wait a second. No, I got my things wrong. <laughs> He's not I here. I was going to say, I thought Polly <laughs> just died. Wait a minute. No, no, Polly's not Polly. Not Polly. Brother. The baker died. <laughs> the one that Polly was friends with. Oh. Yeah. Wait. Is that. Who was the baker? Polly was the yak salesman. He was friends with, uh, I believe his name was Durr. Dirk. Dirk. Dirk, yeah. Dirk is dead. Oh, Dirk's dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, friends with Polly. So. Yeah. 
Um, okay. Aster is hidden in the center here, uh, or surrounded. And you see on the other side of the escape tunnel is Albagor, having known, already scoped out uh, where the most likely escapes would be. He has positioned himself between you and freedom. The rest of his acolytes stay in the way. And from now, we'll roll initiative. Uh, okay, can I, uh, open the Argon Combat HUD. Uh, you should be able to if you click on your person and then you double click on the combat swords, right? No? Mm, no, no, I have to just double click on Ifa and then I can have her sheet pulled up, but that's about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this might be a character sheet option then. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, wow, a one. That's fucking garbage. <laughs> uh. Wow, we literally go last. Cool. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. How could this happen? Uh. You might also notice some changes for the combat tracker. I think I've talked about this before, but you should yes. have like a pop-up window you can use now and stuff. Yes. Um, okay. And the last one to roll initiative is Aster. He's so fucking, fucking He's going to be the first of y'all going. Okay. What the um, fuck? Wait a second. I'm the last one, bro. <laughs> I'm going to roll like shit. Is that what I'm hearing today? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Um, we're gonna... I can't. This can't be happening. I'm gonna be so <laughs> upset. However, because of this, we are gonna be starting in the middle of the turn order here. We're actually gonna be starting with Puck. Oh. Just because God you guys, damn. Uh, it is it is me dealing with the fact that it uh, set you as the first person. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are yeah, able to have like your surprise me. round going through some stuff. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> also, the fact that Albacore's named Mask Retrieval for some reason. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is he named that? It's it's I, on his I character sheet. It's Albagor. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Gotta Puck, love the master retrieval. <laughs> yeah. Puck, what would you like to do here? Let me look at my bill. <laughs> Let me look at my bill really Let me quick. Look. Let me look. That's crazy. Oh. What can I do here? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I can't look at. How am I supposed to you, do anything? Oh, and as you guys prepare for this combat, you see all the acolytes uh, unable to see their faces, but you hear them. Their <laughs> chanting grows louder. Ew, they're oh. weird. <laughs> <laughs> they're weird. They're weird. Yeah. Weirdly. Like, um. Here it is. Did Alvacor not roll initiative? No, he rolled no. initiative. I don't uh, see it. He rolled yeah, a four. You, so you guys can't see them yet because they haven't updated for you. Oh, I see. I saw for a split second, then it just disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> it, so the way this works is once they've actually taken their turn, then you see them on the turn combat order. Mm, okay. uh, the Acolyte sort of fucked up for it. This mm. is what it is. But um, you'll see, like, uh, y you'll see Albagor once his turn actually goes. Mm -hmm. Got it. Uh, once you know what you want to do, though, Puck, let me know. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, easy. Easy? Easy, yeah, easy. Too easy. Okay. Um, <laughs> too easy, God. Eldritch trust? Blast, baby! Who are you attacking? Oh, this, <laughs> this guy right here. Ooh. Okay. Go ahead and roll to attack. 16. 16 will hit. Bitch. <laughs> Beach. 12. Oh, baby. Ooh. Let's go. Oh, big damage. Puck quickly, like, he almost like <laughs> scampers in, hugging the walls. Uh, and as he sees the two before him, he just holds out his hand and whoosh, an Eldritch Blast quietly just uh, presses itself into the chest of the Acolyte. Cool. Uh. And Anything else? Yeah, yep, uh, of course. I <laughs> I I do. You do have your uh, second beam at fifth level, I believe. I yeah, I totally knew that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Two beams. 
Nope. Oh no. <laughs> oh, wait, how do I end my turn? Uh, help on the combat <laughs> HUD. Uh, so if I... you go to the turn tracker for combat encounter, you should see an oh, end okay. turn or pass turn. There you go. Haifa. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at whoever's putting Albacore as one of the monsters. <laughs> huh? Oh, who's um, putting Albagor as a monster? Yeah. Stop talking. Stop talking. It's fine. Just, just, just keep going. It's your turn. Oh, on the <laughs> notes? <laughs> oh my god, so Rage. So fucking funny. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna move here. And then I'm gonna... Oh god, it's gonna be so weird using the sheets. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um... Okay. I don't know what could have happened with the combat HUD. I don't know. Okay. Um, the cat's claws. I'm gonna use I'm gonna, How do you even use this? I, is it this? Cat's claws. There it is. Did it do so it? then you'd go for an attack on the okay. uh, chat log. Yes. Oh, motherfucker. Ten. Unfortunate. Motherfucker. Okay, I'm gonna use my bonus action and do it again. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Uh, you have two attacks per action? As a yeah, it's the bonus unit. action. 23? No, it's a, it's per action, I believe. The 23 absolutely hits. Okay, damage. Normal. That's crazy. Oh, so garbage? Five? Five? Five is still good. Hey, it's in there. You rush up, uh, and you just, like, swipe across his, uh, his robes, leaving a, a dark, deep gash. Wait, okay, so is it two per action, and then I can... Two per action, and then as a bonus action, you're able to spend your key points to do more. Oh. Yeah, so you can either do one as a bonus action or spend a key point and do two as a bonus action. So you can do four uh, attacks total each turn. Yeah. How do I spend one? How do I spend That's why the low one? damage is okay, because you're just going bop, 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 bop. How do I spend one? Where do I spend one? Key On points. your character sheet, key uh, you'll see that there's key points as next to your feline agility. I just use this. You just if you just minus one, I'll trust you for it. Okay. Six. I right. wouldn't trust her, so that's just, <laughs> it's it's cup it. today, but hey, that's Attack. where we're at. Twenty. Twenty hits. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Ten. <laughs> Ten damage, baby. <laughs> one more. Is he still alive? How's he looking? Yep. You know, um, you want to roll your free insight for me? Yes. Insight, insight. insight or investigation? What to do? Oh, wait, no, investigation is better. Normal. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Uh, you're sort of like caught crazy. up in the anxiety of the situation, and you're just like, <sighs> that's crazy. <laughs> like you're hyperventilating in this. You're just trying to push them back at this rate. <laughs> You've done okay. twenty total. I have uh, one more. 15 no, 15, uh, the, the, the damage 10. has been 15 total. Yeah. Oh, I have one more bad. hit. Hold on, hold on. Yep, 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 yep. Easy, easy. <laughs> not easy, not easy. Nine. Ah! Unfortunate. Doesn't hit. I cries. I cries. Okay. I cries. Okay, that's, that's, I think that's it. I think that's all I can do. Okay, do I... passing your turn? Yes. Oh, I can't okay. even end turn. I can't even. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go to your combat tracker. Oh. Or the but or the pop up window that came out, and you should see a little like a right arrow. Oh, for there it. it is. I see it. I see it. Yep. Sun penis. Sun Smash. penis. Albagor, his turn. <laughs> Albagor readies himself, uh, and without a word, he sort of just he's just here. He's he has his mission in mind, and he is here to execute. Um. He's and he holds it. out his hand. And he summons uh, a wall of fire. How dare he? Uh, and he's going to place that. Uh... Wait, how do I rotate this now? He doesn't even know his own system. I don't know my own system, bro. Hey, I'm sorry, okay? Where? <laughs> uh. Shit, I just gotta do another one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go back to you here. Uh, it's a ring of fire. It's 
is here. Uh, he is burning his own people alive to ensure that you can't pass. Badass. Uh, and they are each going to throw their saving throws for dexterity. So let's do a saving throw. And let's do a saving throw. They're able to pass their Ow. dexterity. Oh, one did not. Um, the damage go again. That's the bottom one that failed? The top one that failed. Okay. Yep. Uh, so he's going to take the full 21. And... <laughs> okay. Uh, and the other one is taking 11. And as the flames uh, rise up, you still hear them chanting through it. They know their purpose here and what they have been sent to do. Uh, as the chanting continues, all you see from behind the flames is Albagor's hand raised up, the only part of his body that you can see, and even that is gloved, uh, as he, each finger uh, is like a tendril of flame emitting from it and setting the or barring the path before you. The people behind you uh, cry out in pain, or not in pain, but in fear. And he passes his turn. This acolyte will now uh <laughs> Yeah? You good there? No. Okay. Go on. Uh the uh this acolyte will hold out his hand and he will animate chains. Uh chains erupt from underneath his robes uh out at you. Uh, Aifa. Um, oh, wow. and they will wrap around you, uh, trying to keep you, uh, grappled. So in here, it's just going to be a strength roll test. Wonder, okay, so wait, just roll a strength I check. I don't have, there's no... Uh, so if you click on your character sheet and you'll see strength over on the far left side of attributes. Can I just use their dexterity and... Yeah. Oh, you could! Yeah. You can use your dexterity. Yeah. Where? Oh. Is it... It's ability check, right? Is that what Ability you check, yep. Luckily, mm -hmm. you're probably gonna pass this. He rolled a six. <laughs> oh. oh my god, you rolled a five! Why am I so bad at rolling today? Unfortunate. Why do I, why uh, do I not roll good today? He keeps you grappled and I'll... Uh, and through the chance you hear a, you will not escape. Then comes this bit. acolyte, uh, who is starting his turn in a wall of fire, so he needs to take damage. What a loser. <laughs> um, start, uh, or, or wait, 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 left side or inside that creature talk. takes the same damage when it enters the wall for the first time or on a turn or ends its turn. Oh, it ends its turn there. Uh, he cannot... Oh, actually, no, he he could get here. So he's gonna get here to step out of the Wall of Flames. Uh, and then... He's got nothing he can do. He's sort of just looking at you, being like... Uh, if, if, uh, you come over here, he's gonna... T oh, actually, he's got extra movement. He's gonna get on top of the table, and he's gonna swing his short sword at you. Just basic short sword. I'm gonna... Where Does an 18 hit? Can I... Um... Uh, technically, wait, do I have, hold on, pause, pause, mm -hmm. do I have, mm -hmm. I said this first is my top, when you're subject yeah. to an effect that allows you to make a dexterity saving throw, oh, never mind, I don't have evasion, ev evasion wouldn't count, right? Evasion? Evasion would probably count for this, yeah. <laughs> is it when you're being attacked? Your instinctive agility lets you dodge out of the way of certain area effects. Area effects, not attacks. Yeah, okay, so never mind. God, Toby, okay. can you calm the fuck down, please? God <laughs> fucking damn it. Stop. Five. Stop. Five okay. damage to you, and he will pass his turn. <laughs> Comes to this acolyte now. Two, three, four, who? Five, four. Toby. I hate you. Six, Toby. and will pass his turn. Suck ass. And this acolyte, who will position himself in front of Aster, and he will animate chains on Aster. What a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that one. 
I don't like him. These guys can I suck. Can I do oh, a reaction? Can you calm the fuck yeah, you can do a reaction. What you got? Counterspell. Counterspell. Okay. You you do a counterspell, and as the chains uh begin to fly out of his um uh his robes, they fall right into the water with no force behind them, slithering out of his robes. Uh, he looks down and he goes, <sighs> and it comes to Aster, who goes, get the others to safety. I'll I'll do my best to get out of here, and he jumps into the water below. Ew. <laughs> and you do not see where he ends up. This acolyte is going to go one, two, three, four, five, and end his turn. And this acolyte is just going to swing at you as it uh, <laughs> it knows where it's going. Uh, hey. Vicious Club. All right, if you're going to bite my attack. hand, go sit down. Nope. You Get down. Lap privileges. Goodbye. Thirteen. Does that hit? Um. Uh, no. Oh. -ho! Okay. <laughs> Use a bitch. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Use a bitch. Fuck you and, and so your thirteen. He's gonna try and survive some of the fire that he's ended his turn in. <laughs> and he's gonna roll an eleven, which doesn't pass the DC. <laughs> and so he's gonna take Loser. damage for this, and it's gonna be the full amount of damage. Oh my god. You won. Oh my. Jesus. <laughs> Bro, boy, he died. He swings his maul at you, oh. uh, and you quickly dodge out of the way. The your cat-like reflex is heightened from this situation, and as it uh, misses, he holds his uh, maul to himself, and the flames overtake him as he continues his chant, burned to a crisp in front of you. You see a ghostly image of Timmy. Oh, don't do that, Puck. That's fucked up. <laughs> My phone now. It's your turn. My... Uh, okay, no. Uh, so I could see Abuqor, right? Yes. Okay. I'd like to use my bonus action. Okay. To cast Hex. Oh, okay. Get him. <laughs> Damage, right? Uh, Jesus. whenever you hit it with another attack. Okay. So this is additional. Gotcha. Yep. You've now made it so you'll be able to cast that additional damage. Gotcha. gotcha. And now if there's anything else you'd like to do, feel free. Oh, oh. so much I want to do. <laughs> so much I want to do. So much. Where is it? Agonizing Blast. Agonizing Blast, okay. You gain two Eldritch Invocations of your choice. Your Invocation options are detailed uh, there. Additionally, when you gain a level in this class, you can choose one of the incantations you know and replace it. And Eldritch... Okay, switching. That just uh, adds your charisma to your damage for your Eldritch Blast. Okay, cool. So you you buffed yourself this turn. And I'd like to target Albacor. Oh, you can't also uh, huh? do an Eldritch Blast. You just buffed. Or agonizing blast is like a class thing that he got, so it's like oh. a, it's in, it was intrinsic on his last Eldritch Blast. Oh, it's blast. intrinsic. Oh. Yeah, it was just a feature that he. Okay, played. I didn't know that. Then you're already good. If you want to just cast okay, cool. cast Eldritch Blast, just go for it. Okay, you get your two uh, you get your two tendrils blasting out here. The f ten. ten does not hit. I thought it would have. Does twenty three hit? Twenty three hits though. Nine. Okay, and you get your uh that on here, and you get your D six. Perfect. Rolled the crit on it too. Love that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um. <laughs> Anything else you like to do? Of course, of course. There's a lot of things I like to do. Can I do anything? <laughs> hmm. Anything you can do. Oh, I'm looking. Uh, probably not. You don't know that. Okay. Yeah, you, you do. Ifa. Yes. What would you like? Well, I mean, the fire is still there, right? Am I still in the chains? You are still in the chains. You can uh. use a full action to free yourself of them, or you can do a strength check uh, to have it count as a bonus action. 
Let's go in here. Who's got it? Mm. Wait. Hold on. So I want to realize I have this. Patient defense and still be one of the Okay, never mind. Um, you said strength check? Yep. Where the fuck? There it is. Ability check. Normal. Wow, seven. Unfortunate. Does not pass the DC for this. DC for this is just a 10. Motherfucker. Yeah. So you are still in there. You can use a full action still, though, to just free yourself of the chains. <sighs> Fine. It will be your full turn, though. Fine. Okay. <laughs> you use your action and you uh, brush uh, the chains down and throw them into the fire. They sort of like singe, and you hear the act like, uh, his chants get louder as um, the energy sort of like feeds into it and he lets go of the chains and they die down. He will not have anime chains anymore. Okay. Goes to Albagor. Albagor will cast Darkness as he uh, places uh, Darkness here. Oh. All of there is no longer able to be seen. Mm. Uh, which means that these two get to go invisible in here. Bitches. <laughs> bitches you hear shuffling in the distance this one then attacks you with his short sword a whore 20 uh, hit use <laughs> use 5 okay and he will end his turn this one goes 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, and he will use Animate Chains on Puck. Puck, can you give me a Strength uh, check? I can. Uh, he rolled a 21. Oh, that's a good thing. Uh, just check, right? Yep, just a check. It's a good thing I have now. <laughs> have your plus zero so even if you rolled a nat 20 you would not have won uh chains bind you oh. jokes on him puck likes it <laughs> puck likes it uh this uh acolyte not seeing where Astra is dives into the water to try and find him and you hear swimming off in the distance and a as you see flames erupt from the waters below. Uh, you are not sure what they are, uh, but something has happened underneath the waters. Then the next acolyte, you hear shuffling in the distance. That one is dead. Uh, Puck, it's your turn yes, again. Sir. Okay. You can use uh, a full action to free yourself of the chains or do a strength check, DC 10, uh, to just have uh, yourself freed. Fuck! Yep. <laughs> okay, you want to use the rest of your full action to get rid of yourself? Or free yourself? Sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, you use that, you're able to free yourself of the chains, and the chains dissolve in the fire. He will also not have animate chains anymore. Uh, oh. But then, you guys, when as it comes to Aitha's turn, you hear more shuffling footsteps in the distance. If you're not able to progress further soon, you might be pinched. Mm -hmm. Hi. Um, I'm gonna, I guess, use cat's claws on the guy. Okay, roll for your attack. I suck at attack. I can't oh, roll for unfortunate, shit today. dude. The rolls. I'm so sorry. What is happening? Oh my god. I thought it was just not your character. Neither of those hit. But that was just your action. You still have your bonus action. Motherfucker, a hole. Would you like to spend a key point and do two, or none and just do one? I'm. 
upset, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is kind of. I feel sort of like overtaken through the stress of this, and like Crazy. she's probably having a panic panic attack as this happens. God damn it! All right, I guess I'll spend a fucking key point. I don't even. <laughs> okay, you spend your key point, and you can do two more attacks now. Do it. You're, yeah, yeah, you're doing it. You're doing your flurry of blows. This, this fucking what the hell? Wow, that hits. Heat. Roll your damage. Okay. Ten. Okay. Okay. Your no, your claws go right through him. Oh, he's dead. Good. You swipe twice. He dodges as he's like rhythmically humming to his chant, and finally, uh, upset with all of this, upset that this is happening yet again. To the next place you go, you gather yourself. You bring your claws right through his face, breaking his mask in twain. And you Good. see blood spurt out of it as he falls dead before you. Good. Fuck him. Anyways, <laughs> how do we... But there's fire in front of us, right? There is fire in front of you. Going through it, you will take damage for it. But if you... It's better than just sitting there. <sighs> okay. Um, so Unless we you have, have something to... to get rid of the fire. What is... What is all oh my god what is all this shit like what's the button what's the button what's the button how do i ping what's the things button? X. these barrels yeah that those, one. Barrels? those barrels would you like to do an investigation or insight check yes go for it you said investigation or insight yep okay to find Please. anything out on the battlefield you get 18. that as a free action you passed it absolutely you know that these are barrels of water okay i'm just gonna do I still have action to... Go you do not. It's a bonus action to interact. Okay, I'm gonna yell at Puck. <laughs> of course you're gonna go to the other Uh, we need these... Wa this. We need to put the fire out. These are water. Okay. And I'm just gonna point at the barrels. And then gotcha. the initiative goes. Yes. <laughs> now that he's gone. Oh um... What is the range on this? Oh, let me measure something out here. Oh, you dirt fuck. Okay. We won't be able to do that then. Uh yeah, loser. Idiot dumbass. <laughs> huh. He will cast another darkness. And he will shroud this area in darkness as well. Oh, if only the wall of fire was going straight. <laughs> uh, and Sun penis makes fire, fire penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. Imagine. <laughs> I'm imagining. Uh, <laughs> you do not hear any shuffling in the distance. That one is dead. Uh, let's remove him. That one is dead. We can remove him as... Oh, no, no. This one is... Uh, you hear shuffling in the distance for this one. Shuffle. Uh, the one under the water uh, swims, and I need to roll a thing. Okay. Uh, you see blood start rising to the top of the water. Mm -hmm. Dead. Dead. Whether it is <laughs> his or Astra's, you don't know. Mm -hmm. I need to roll another thing. Okay. You see more blood rise to the top of the water. You do not hear any shuffling in the distance. And Puck, it is your turn. Okie dokie. Uh, I'd like to... barrel I'm here okay and I'd like to I'm move 30 okay. move so you have a barrel of water in your hands now five feet I'd like to move 20 feet okay to here 
and throw the water like right here there yep you would be able to free yourself of that uh fire um can you roll me a d20 uh really quick it's gonna be a 20. <laughs> damn love to see it um you are able uh this is not going to be fully gone so don't start uh getting happy it's yet, gone <laughs> I said, don't, I don't, don't. Uh, you are able to get rid of an extra square on top of it there is an opening now for your people to get through i moved 20 feet right you moved 20 feet so you should still have 10 more feet i believe of movement so if i go here uh yeah in this square, would I be encompassed in darkness? Yes. Cool. I'd like to do that. Go for it. <laughs> and you, uh, I need you to make a perception check. I was about to straight up roll. <laughs> just roll another d20 and just be like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Perception. Wouldn't we have Can to go the up way to get up to where Albagore is? Oh fuck! You're right. Mm -hmm. I just thought this would be simpler, just because. No, I know. Because this way we need to clear like all this. Mm -hmm. No, I know. Go. So you do have the stairs at least to make that a little yeah. safer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the thirteen. Okay. You do not hear anything in the darkness. Okay. But I'm in darkness now, right? You are in darkness. Okay. So cool. you yourself, if you'd like, you can go invisible. No, don't be. That is what I like to do. Okay. One with the shadow. And one with the shadow. Haifa, I need you to roll a perception check for me. Okay. Alright, I'm just throwing Toby out. You're all good. Okay. No worries, no worries. Now that Toby. Uh, also, as a quick thing, it is six. I know we don't have too much time today. Uh, mm -hmm. So, if you want to rush some things along for time, feel free. Okay. 23. 23. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> you can hear that in the next round, reinforcements will come behind you. Your people are being pressed, and you can hear sword fighting off in the distance as they try and hold them off. A voice mm -hmm. reaches to you going, We have to flee now! Okay. Um, I'm going to... Oh god, wait. I have... Is it the feline feature? That lets me, or feline agility, it lets me double my speed. Okay. Until the end of the turn, once used, you can't use this trait again until you move zero feet on one of your turns. Okay. Um. That sounds perfect for right now. Yeah, so I'm gonna 15, uh, 20, 30, 45. You could also jump down. Mm. That's true. Like even from the spot that Butler freed, you could jump if you don't want to interact with the fire. Although the fire is That's area of effect, and I believe you had a thing that was specifically for area of effect. Uh, I think it's patient defense, but it takes a key to do, and I don't really want to use that. Okay, you um, could run here then and jump down if you like, um, or and that saves you at least a bit of going all the way through the stairs. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, okay. 15 and then... What is that? Would it be 10 to jump down or 15 to jump down? It'd be 15 to jump down. Okay, 30... I could end up here. You could. Okay. You'll be running through the darkness. That's fair. I'm okay with that. Okay. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh! So you're wait wait wait. Oh, jumping no in. no no. Okay, so I'm going from here. Okay, there. Jumping you to stop. here. Butler, do you let her pass? Yeah. Okay, you're able to continue forward. Okay, I'm gonna jump down here. I need you to stop now, and I need you okay. to roll a perception check. Okay. Perfect. Ten. And as you make a move. Uh, I am going to do a thing here really quickly because now it truly begins. Oh. 
You decide that this is not where you're going to end, not where you're going to let anyone end. With your 10, you realize that in the darkness, there are footsteps right before you. You can mm -hmm. either choose to flee or uh, you can make, if you flee, you need to make a stealth check or you can stand your ground and fight and battle your way through to save uh, the others. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'll fight. Okay, roll an attack then. You're able to see that right before you is one of the acolytes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Roll your attack. I love the icon for Cat's Claws. It's just oh a fucking cat. Oh my fucking god, dude. You got a second one. You got a second one. It's fine. Dude, Monk, right now, you're getting so to reroll on reroll. Oh my no, god. Dude, it was oh almost a 12. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. This you is still ridiculous. have your bonus action. Bruh, this is crazy. <laughs> Wait, okay, hold on. Wait. Wait, where is it? <laughs> Finding anything on this is a nightmare, by the way. Dude, yeah. Okay. He okay. You doing flurry attack. blows again? Yes. I'm crying. That 18. hits. That hits. I'm upset. This is bullshit. Oh my god. Five. Five damage. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. That's more. One more damage. <sighs> Fucking do something. Okay. Eight. Eight. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's only 13 damage, bruh. Yep. And you've made yourself known to the enemy now. The Acolyte looks at you, uh, and he draws his glaive. <sighs> Fuck you. What a bitch. And I believe that's your turn. Yeah. Albagor oh, will yell out to his Acolytes going, Do not let them pass. And pass. Uh, you hear shuffling in the distance. And this one will now swing at you with his glaive. Mm -hmm. With a 14, does that hit? Uh, I have 14. Defenders win, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. However, he does have... Uh, actually, no, he doesn't have this. Cool, okay. <laughs> he ends his turn there. Whoa, fuck you, bitch. Uh, this one needs to roll a d20. Okay. Uh, that is able to. You see blood rise up from the water. Damn. <laughs> and then... You see more blood rise up from the water. Uh, and this time, uh, accompanying with the water is like some bubbles coming from the beneath. And you can hear Astra's voice like amongst the air of the bubbles going <sighs> as if he's like gasping for water under there. He has not come up in quite a while. You hear more shuffling in the distance. And Puck, it is now your turn. Cool. And Puck, I need you to um... roll me a perception check. Seventeen. Seventeen? You can hear more of the acolytes uh, cutting their way through your people. You have not been able to fight to make a way for them yet, and they are being cut down. There will be less of them if you do not forge away soon. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, da, da, da. Dude. Uh, uh. Ah. I get hella movement too, as monk. Damn. You do. Lots of you have so much fucking dexterity. Yeah. I hope you've also been keeping track of how many times you have not attacked someone, because remember, you have your mask ability. Me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I have, like, what? 12? Right? You have 12d6, you're saying? No, no, no. 2d6. 2d6 right now? I think so. Okay. 
to shoot one Eldritch Blast for favor. Okay. That's, uh, Sun Penis. Okay. <laughs> hey, he's really just never getting rid of that name, huh? I, I, okay. Nope, it's too late. Um, nope. 15, 15 hits. You're able to roll your extra damage uh, on top of your mask damage. Cool. So, roll this nine. Uh, now roll. roll your d6 and then your 2d6. So 3d6. Yeah. Ten. Twenty-three. Ooh. Damage in total. Um. And, and you get a second blast. I, do I do I hit the sun penis or do I hit the acolyte now? <laughs> the sun penis get his distraction so he can't hold spells up you're right oh oh you are right thank you for reminding me of that he needs to roll his concentration checks mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that is constitution for him that is fine uh then he needs to do one more And that fails. Actually, you are, are you are going to see one of the darknesses fall. Calm, we'll have calm. the first darkness fall. Uh -huh. And you will see yeah. that there are two acolytes standing here. Wee, uh, wee. Now, if you want to do your second Eldritch Blast at him, he will do his next uh, constitution saving throw, if you like. I will. Attack. 22. 22 hits. Mull damage. 11, and roll your d6 for Hex. 14. 14, okay, so let's get rid of 14 health. Wouldn't that be 15? 11 plus 4? Oh yeah, 15. 15, <laughs> there you go. Thank you for catching that. I'm I'm busy just working on this. I'm just saying, putting in the numbers you tell me. Uh, he is able to pass that uh, check, so he will not get rid of the rest. Cool. Um, uh, I okay. would like to use my free action to see how much health okay well investigation or insight investigation or insight 15 you were able to tell that he is barely phased as each blast forces into him you see the mass that was once destroyed ripple back into uh itself and form itself anew while you may be distracting him, you are definitely not hurting him. Gotcha. Mm. And you also can tell that uh, they are cutting through your your friends right now. <laughs> gotcha. End my turn. Okay. Mm. I thought. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Just a second. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You're good, so you're good, many things. Ah. Uh... Okay. Um. Ifa, at this uh, moment, uh, yes. as a thing, you don't have to roll a perception check for this, but I need mm. you to roll me a D12. Okay. A D12 minus. Uh, no, whatever. It's fine. So just roll D12. <laughs> okay. Wow. A three. You can That's tell crazy. three. Uh. About three twelfths of your company has died to the acolytes pinching in. Motherfucker. Okay. I can't do anything though. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um. Okay, I guess. But it's only unarmed strikes that like, get double, isn't it? Yep, you're an unarmed strike. There's you're just meant to be one. like flurrying into people. All right, I guess we'll keep doing cat claws. Cat claws, cat claws, cat claws. More and cat claws. Give me the two. Yup, I fucking knew it. Twelve. That hits. Wow. 
good. Thank fucking <laughs> five. Dude, the nat ones that you keep rolling. <sighs> that hits. Anyone, please. Eight. Okay. Right. You got your mm -hmm. bonus action now. Yes. Wait, where is it? Because I'm gonna find it. Hmm. I'm gonna flurry your action. I get about twenty-four. That hits. I did damage. Eight. Okay. And get a second I'll attack. Do, I'll do it again. Wow, a twenty-one. That That's crazy. Attack. Oh, I was seven. He falls Yay, before you. Hey, fuck him. All you right. basically are just like, I. We need to get out of here. And you go. We <laughs> got to go. And then, uh, I still have movement, right? Yeah, you have all your movement. Right, Whoa, um, sorry about that. Good ball. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to him. I run. Two, three, four, five, run. As you run out, you hear more bubbles rise from the water as Esther goes, Please, you have to rush! Leave them! Leave them? Just, just put to push past them the headquarters is gone is about escaping can i even push past them yes uh, well i mean we so if you go if you go here then here then here you'll go past them they'll get an opportunity attack but it's about escaping okay, let you me see. Use, i used your key point don't forget uh, I, I know i'm looking um... she's already used her key point for her bonus action she only has movement now oh uh, yeah you're right yeah Okay. Well, with wait, hold on, pause. Wait, I had extra movement because of teleport. Unarmored movement. Wait, where is it? Oh my god. Nope, that's defense. Unarmored movement. I have an extra fifteen feet right now, so I have forty-five feet I can move. Okay. Wait, where was I? I was, what, here? Yep, so there's a ghost image that appears whenever you, like, start moving, so you could oh. always see where you started. Okay. 25... 30... Like that? 35? Yeah. 40... 45. So, like, here-ish. Yep, so you'll get two... They'll get two opportunity attacks on you. Okay. But you can keep moving. Like, you're, you still escape. Pew, pew. I'm there. The one here will swing with his battle axe. Oh, the hits. Dealing damage. And this one here will swing with his maul. God damn. Uh, that doesn't hit. Okay. Fuck so me. you rush through, uh, like low to the ground, bouncing off of uh, the wall that's before you to sort of like spring step. And the battle axe unfortunately clips you, oh, dealing four damage. Okay. It's fine. And the other one swings across you. This time, after your tail has been clipped, you're able to uh, sense where the attack is coming, and you swiftly dodge around it, getting around them. You look up, mm -hmm. and you see that the rest of your uh, people start filing past you. Mm -hmm. uh, they stop at the wall of darkness here. Mm -hmm. Then goes to Albagor who you will see uh, rummage around with something in his robes. Can this I yell like at, the, yeah. at the group of people and be like, there's uh, barrels of water, dump it on the fire and come my way? They, uh, they go, yes, okay. And They'll they be faster, don't, ignore and the darkness. Then. Yeah. They'll go here and they will uh, start interacting with the barrels of water. Yeah. Uh, sorry, before goes that acolyte, this acolyte runs up to you and attempts to hit you okay. again with the maul dealing a nat 20 so he is going to do max damage which is 14 motherfucker 14 14 <laughs> what a bitch and then this one needs to You see blood rise from the water again, but this time with a corpse. Oh. 
The acolyte wow. is dead. Aster rises from the water below. Ooh. As he... <laughs> Dude, why is this playlist so loud? <laughs> yeah. That was kind of funny, though. I, it's very triumphant. It <laughs> yeah. As he goes like... <sighs> <sighs> and Good he up, lifts buddy. his hand towards the acolyte that's closest to you. And you see uh, hellish chains emit from each of his fingernails or each of his fingers as they wrap around the acolyte and pull it into the water. <laughs> they start drowning and you see like the bubbling water that's burned uh, from the fire and also singed at the same time. You can tell that this fire is so hot that it's, it's literally lava. It's creating magma at this point as it interacts with the water and the acolyte is encased in rock and starts sinking to the ground below. He looks to you and goes, I got this. Get out of here. I'll nod at him and be like, all right. <laughs> and he will uh, literally kill that guy. <laughs> okay. As opposed to figuratively? Uh, I mean, if he like, may or may not like, be dead. You know, cutting words and such. <laughs> this acolyte then will see him and go, uh, his chant just rises louder. He is not, uh, you can tell he's like in this focus state as he goes to swing his battle axe at Aster. What a loser. And that one though, does definitely does not hit. Yeah, and what Puck, a loser. <laughs> initiative is yours. Cool. Um, I'd like to Roy to use uh, minor illusion. Minor illusion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, near. Oh my God. I must totally uh, scream. Uh, and make it a like a very scream. Um, uh, a very blood curdling roar. Okay. Focus. Got you. Um, if a creature uses its action, that's not an action. There is no reaction for this other than. There's no wisdom to save DC for this, is there? Uh, he will just be distracted by this. You will see him look over this direction. Uh, if but for a brief moment, he is figuring out if there is more people he has to defend against. Um, and I can't see my token, Zerg. Oh, you should, since you have ownership of it. But here you go. Thank you. Here the boy. Um, and even if I lose, or even if I go out of the, uh, what's it called? Uh, darkness? Well, I, I'll, I'll still be invisible, right? You will still be, oh, well, no, you're not invisible. You just uh, won't be attacked at the moment. Yeah, it's because I have one with shadows. Oh, you can use your action then, yeah. Oh, shit. It, it takes a full or... action, though. Okay, no, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, you use your action for your minor illusion. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Dude, Thank every you. song is gonna be like this? Are you serious? <laughs> it's okay, just let it happen, it's fine. Okay, as long as it's not like blasting your ears. I, yeah, I lower no. it as soon as I can. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Okay. Um, yeah. Cool. What you doing, Ooh. Puck? Moving. Right Moving. next to... Uh, you run up to Aster. Aster sees you and nods uh, next to you as you saddle up. What are you doing? Uh. Okay, perfect. You guys <laughs> get ready to take on this acolyte. Aifa, you see that the rest yeah. of the uh, people uh, from the HQ, the various Nightwing thieves, guild merchants, etc., uh, yeah. get the barrels of water and they put out the fire. Nice. The way is free now for the rest of the, your compatriots. I need you to roll another d12, though. Okay. Or this this case, uh, a d9. Mother. Okay. Six. Six more people uh, have died no! as they get cut down from the acolytes. Only three twelfths remain. And those small people look to you, Ifa and Puck and Aster, and go. Where do we go from here? I'll motion to up the stairs and they're like, follow me this way, this way. We got to go. OK, and then... and then they point and they go, there are two escapes past you here oh. and here. Which one would you like us to take? 
Oh, the bottom one. Okay. And they start rushing one. past you until they end about here. Yeah, and I'll, I'll lead the way in front of them. Okay. So they're not it, just completely. Meanwhile, you hear Alvagor going, No, you will not escape this way. Well, yeah, I'm ignoring you. Anyways, <laughs> that's how we're going the other way. Fuck you, bitch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, um, I can't do shit at a distance, though, huh? Not really? much. That's crazy. But that means what? you got a dash action if you like. Uh, but that means I have to go up, you know? Well, no, your dash action could be flee. That's true. I don't want to just leave the people and 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 and. And you're leading the way. Okay, I'll go to like, what's the dash? It's like, oh, I don't. It's see double your movement. Or... Just do your movement again. No. I'll just go right by the stairs then. I'll okay. be right here. What's up, bitch? Anyway. <laughs> Albagor, meanwhile, will do an intelligence check. Uh, what is your spell save DC, Butler? Uh. Check your spell save. Hold on. Uh, 15? 15? He's trying to beat a 15. Fuck. He beats oh, it. No. He sees that it's uh, just a minor illusion, and his face, like, glides towards you. He nods in a uh, sort of respect. <laughs> Good attempt. <laughs> respect. <laughs> and he saddles himself up respect. right here before you. Hello, Ifa. bitch. He holds himself a light and he goes, This way will be dead to you. And he holds out his hand buddy. as he casts Acid Arrow. Oh. oh, you said arrow? That's crazy. Um, oh. where's. Wait, where's the thing? Where's my thing? Where's my thing? Where's your thing? Yeah, I don't know. Hold on, hold on, let me find it. Stretch I'm, missile I'm blind. reaction. No, no, no. No, deflect missile attack, actually. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm I think I, that means like, re yeah, I have a free hand. Uh, yes, you have uh, a free can hand. Can I use said can thing? Can I throw it back at him? Uh, that starting at, yeah, it depends on your attack roll. Okay, well, I'm gonna try to so throw it back. So, starting at the level, please. you can use your current reaction to deflect or oh, catch the missile. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, he needs to roll his attack. Yeah, he needs to roll his attack. Okay. Which he rolled an 18 on. Motherfucker. What does deflect with this? Wait. Uh, the damage when you hit by the ranged weapon attack, when you do so, the damage you take from the action is reduced. So oh, yeah. you reduced it by 15. Uh, or, no, no, the damage. No, the it's damage. 1d10 yeah, the damage. by... Which so he rolled 9. So okay, you reduced so it to 0. Okay. You can catch the missile if it is small enough. In this case, yeah. the uh, the acid arrows are like arrows of acid, is how I flavor <laughs> them. So you are fine. You did catch it. <laughs> um, you can spend a key point in uh, to make a range attack with the weapon, which <laughs> you have done. A 15 will also hit him. <laughs> you make this attack with proficiency, regardless of your weapon proficiencies. So I um, do I just roll damage? Oh, wait, wait. Are you supposed to roll damage to see if you reduce the damage? Because you that, it's not the 15. The 15 is your, your attack roll. Wait, hold on. Let me look. When you do spell the damage, this, you stay... That's the damage. So that would that would be the negate. So this is the reduce. 1d10 plus 11. So I still negated the damage. Okay, so you negated the damage, which yeah. means you are now flinging it back at him. Yeah, so the uh, 15 would be the attack throwing it back at him. Okay. So it is now 21 minus 9 is the rest of the damage coming his way. <sighs> that one doesn't say. I think that's just a regular. Maybe? Attack or a piece of ammunition as part of the same reaction. You make this attack with a proficiency regardless of. Whether... I'm going to rule that that's how this works, unless Wax, if you know how that works better. Uh, I don't. I'm gonna say that it's because you got it to zero, the remaining damage is flung back at him because you also succeeded in your attack roll. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna do 21 minus 9 in this case, which means 11. Okay. Or no, 12. It's 12. Uh, so 12 damage will come his way, and he will have to make another, uh, save. 
aggressive songs. Yeah. <laughs> Which still fits like Mother the tone of this. Like he goes like this way is barred to you, throws the acid arrows. You hold out both of your feline <laughs> tabaxi hands and you go <laughs> swing, swing around in like a pirouette as they go right back into him, yeah. uh, piercing his cloak. That's fair. Uh, he is still holding himself onto the darkness. Uh, but he mm -hmm. does take that damage, and he will okay. end his turn. Okay. This one will remove combatant. Yeah, just flip him off. <laughs> this one will remove combatant, and Aster will swing himself at, uh, or will attempt to grapple this acolyte down. No? Huh? Just a oh. heads up, it is 629. It is 629, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just letting you know. Um, 12 uh, is what he has to beat, okay. <laughs> this would have been quicker if you guys also didn't split up, but you guys went for a split up, which takes longer. I'm sorry. Oh, it just failed. made the most so, sense. <laughs> Aster throws himself on top of the acolyte here, pinning him to the ground, and he looks <laughs> to you and goes, leave, just get out of here. Go, gotcha. go, the acolyte go. will not be able to do anything against it. Puck, it's your turn. Cool. Run, run, run. And <laughs> at this case, uh, more acolytes appear. Bring up the end. Bring up the end. <laughs> my full movement. Then my dash. Was right. Uh, yeah. My okay. Turn. Ifa, your turn. Um, 20, I'm gonna throw a knife. Okay. Where is it? Where are my, where are my knives? Knife. Knife. Uh, I'm chucking it at him. Your arm blade <laughs> comes out of your cloak as you toss it at him. And... Uh, strikes. Oh, Roll damage. Let's go. Eight. He says nothing, and all you see is the un uh the unabashed, like piercing gaze of his mask looking right at you as he goes, I will find you. <laughs> oh, I'll just say find this and I'll flip him off. <laughs> Okay. Are, you gonna, are you also gonna move uh i'll move one more closer how far is everybody else the people they are like right here okay i'm just gonna motion them like go 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 speed and they go, okay and Run. They, they escape out okay. of the downstairs all right you are now free of the last remaining uh populace all right then i'll i'll head down too because i'm not useful okay in range combat and TBH. you get out you, get, you go like find this flip him off and you run down with everyone else uh albagor looks to the final uh person Beach. here as Stop. he is going to Stop. that's good how's it going dude <laughs> how's, it so going? how's your day <laughs> well no use casting that one anymore because he is not able Oh. Oh no, I don't like that. Ooh. He holds Whatever. out his he holds out his arm and go, "You will be useful." That's and he not... casts dominate person. Oh no. Oh, good That's thing good. I don't like being dominated. <laughs> <laughs> we good like thing I hate no, being dominated. Or... Told you. <laughs> you feel uh these this like whispers creep into your mind, puck, but then you also hear Wait, is it, uh, fuck. Am I actually using the right thing? Sorry, sorry, one, one, one really quick. Can I can I actually do this, please? No. Okay, that's oh, fine. No. Um, but oh, you hear, no. not yet. This one is under my control. And oh. uh, the whispers from within abate and leave yourself with a sanity of mind. You also hear a second voice cry out, we haven't failed before, and we're not going to fail now. Quick, get out of here. And he's going to give you a double movement speed on your next turn, Puck. Okay, cool. Aster, meanwhile, looks up to the rest of everyone else leaving and goes, Okay, it's safe. 
but I still have someone I need to see. And he's going to attempt to free himself of the grapple. Meaning that this guy gets a bonus or uh, attack of opportunity. Twelve will not hit him. He will get out. Two, three, four, five. He will then dash. One, two, three. Do you let him pass? Of course. Four, of five. Course. Of course. Uh, and then I need to have him roll a dexterity check because he is enfeebled by someone. Because someone sapped him of his strength. <laughs> but he's able to push through it in the heat of the moment. He goes, the, play the headquarters might have fallen, but I have someone I still need to see. And he will make a triple dash. Ooh, Four, triple dash. Five. And he will escape. Uh, it then goes to the Acolyte, who will go one, two, three, four, five. And then he will go one, two, three, four, five, and catch That's up crazy. to you. Fuck, <laughs> it is your turn. Okay, cool. Uh, so I, fuck boy. I just have double, double movement, right? Yep. So I could still make an action? Yep. And does making the... And you've not been attacked for two times now, so you can add that to whatever attack you do. Cool. Uh, just for one last hurrah uh, <laughs> for trying to take over my mind. <laughs> I aim. More Eldritch Blasts appear. Sir. <laughs> yes, sir. 20. 20 hits. Normal. Puck is like crouching at this moment and he sort of like looks back and both of these Eldritch Blasts appear from the giant holes in his mask as he just like <laughs> gazes at Albagorn. <laughs> They appear, uh, dealing, oh my god, 25. 25. <laughs> Kill him! He will make his, uh, at this point, he's already let go. Uh, he willingly let go, lets go of the other, uh, templates in here. Yeah, of the darkness. My last and one. your illusion has ended. Yeah. Um, 26 also hits. This is her trying to take over my mind, you bit. <laughs> Seven, and then add one d6 this time. Yeah. Four. Okay. And yeah. with that, you're able to flee. He will get an attack of opportunity, though. It's fine. And he <laughs> swings at you a final battle axe. 18, that hits you. Uh, not a critical hit. Forget that. Forget that. Dealing seven damage. Uh, the battle axe like swings across and grazing your ankles as you like flee you trying to like bounce and weave past all of the spells rushing past you before you too also get out you guys have escaped uh, this portion hey to everyone watching uh, this is a pickup session um, just for what we were going with before don't think anything of it but more importantly, Voli saw over here, you need to try and figure out how you're going to escape uh, here. You've left your friends uh, to go take care of the other passage and funnel more people to safety. You have a, a decent crowd with you, uh, which maybe would be better if we show them in some kind of way. So let's... However, they're not as trained as you, so I'm just going to drop in like a villager for gotcha. you to represent them. We'll give you two, because you, you took half. Sick. <laughs> uh, each of them represents about uh, 20 people. Okay. That you have with you. Um, you know that in here, in the bank vault, is all of the Nightwing's uh, treasury, or main treasury at least, that they keep in their uh, compound. It is currently being raided. Uh, and as you enter in down the door, uh, you've seen... Your friends run off the d other uh, direction towards the library where it's currently being burned. Uh, you ran the opposite way to the bank vault. And as you come down the stairs with uh, solemn chanting surrounding you, deafening out the fiery blows below, uh, and you come down the stairs, you see that one of the acolytes of the mask retrieval units is tending to a small prison where you see a familiar face. Polly. 
Okay. The Acolyte does not seem to be aware of your presence at the moment. How you go through here is up to you. Got you. And so I do know, is is there also an exit somewhere in this room other than the one that we're coming in right now? Not in the just... bank vault, no. It, the okay. secret ent- exit out of here is next to the bank vault. You will okay. have to get in here and out of here if you want to take the exit. Okay, I got you. Easy. Yeah, easy. <laughs> easy. <laughs> okay. Got you. Okay. Okay. Um... Here we go then. Uh, well, what do I have? Let's double check. Okay, well, I'm gonna cast. Um. Do oh, I see this guy over here to the left, right? You do see him through the iron gratings of a, of one of the gates. Yes. Okay. The gates I'm all in... are unlocked, save okay. for the one that Polly's stuck in. Got you. Well. None of my spells loaded in. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm oh, gonna see. Wait, your spells didn't load in? Uh, yeah, I'm going to cast spell, and it's not. It's uh, not yeah, it's there. Oh, let me let me. I'm looking I'm at it right now. Yeah, 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 refresh. Because you should have Eldritch Blast, Prestidigitation, Armor of Agatha, Invisibility, and Crown of Madness. Mhm. You also do have Shield, uh, as your reaction. Oh, you also have Misty Step and Silvery Barbs as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mhm. Okay combat okay here we go spell book okay um well i'm gonna hit him with crown of madness that guy on the left got you okay uh so he needs to make a saving throw uh let me double check that he has yep he has his stats all in here hey we're actually ready to go this time look at that let's go baby not one baby he got nothing (laughs) okay 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 uh, so the charm target must use its action before moving on each of its turn to make a melee attack against a creature other than itself that you mentally choose. The target can act normally on its turns if you choose no creature or if none are within its reach. Yep. On what your would you subsequent like him to do? turns. Um, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna then after he has the crown of madness, I'm going to I'm gonna start walking up and try okay. and like get behind this guy as he's looking at Polly. And as I'm walking up, I have like. My oh, wait, did you out. cast Crown of Madness on this guy or this guy? Uh, The guy that I can see through the bars. Oh, got you, got you, got you. It, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Same stats, so this, they both still fail it. I thought you had it on this guy for a second. Oh, okay. I see, I see. So, so yeah. he is looking the other way now from his Crown of okay. Madness. Got you. And then I'm going to try and <laughs> stealthily get behind this guy. And cool. with my other hand up, making like the sh- motion to Polly, but no sound. Uh, Can you do a... I imagine a performance check uh, for that. It's gonna a relatively low DC, but it just needs to see if he can even see you at the moment. Okay, got you. Performance. Eighteen. Okay. Yep. Yep. He sees you through the bars, and he's just sort of like, uh, uh, like he just stays in like that sort of vegetative state of panic. Uh, for every sure. four movement you do, you need to command okay. your villagers uh, to do at least one to two, or at least give okay. them an action. You can have them stay in place but they are under your control got you got you uh for right now i'm gonna have them kind of just stay in place so one got you two three four okay they're gonna stay in place okay (laughs) i'm gonna one two three uh once i get right here yes i'm going to then uh, I'm gonna have my crown of madness guy basically like try and attack this dude up there, the new guy that I see up there. Yep. And then I'm also gonna take a swing at the dude in front of me <laughs> with my glaive. Okay. So you will have this guy go one, two, three. And uh, what is your crown of madness like? As Volisaw sort of like dips into the blood well of himself and unleashes like these uh these small blood tendrils out, making the crown of madness. How does he, uh, how does that madness manifest? I would say um, he kind of grips the glaive like intensely, and as he does, the the hand of the guy that he's like also controlling also grips intensely, and his nails dig into his palm to like to puncture and get blood, and his whole left hand is soaked in blood that crawls up him and creates the crown. Okay, and as it uh, seeps up his arm and gain, uh, grains the crown above him, circling overhead, dripping drops of blood. 
he runs over, maul gripped in hand, and without another word, uh, silently attacks. Feeling, uh, that is a 10, which does not pass the AC, unfortunately. But he swings and misses, and the guy goes, what? What's happening? Uh, and he will roll his initiative after you've done your sneak attack. Okay. So, so yeah. Go ahead. And what does do that your... look like for me? Does that like like the do I any like bonuses or advantage or is it just a regular attack? Oh you, yeah, you don't have your glaive in. Your... No, you should have your gla glaive equipped. Or no, I have my. I'm attacking with my glaive, but you said sneak attack. I don't know if that. Adds oh anything. oh oh, that would just be extra yeah. damage if you. Oh, okay. You're, you're able to add sneak attack damage to it like a rogue. Got you. Okay. Got yeah. you. Um. Ooh, you can also attack. roll with advantage for this since it is sneak attack. Oh, sick. Yeah, okay. That's a rogue thing. Yeah. Nat 20, Nat baby. 20. Okay. <laughs> so we do max damage for this. So that's at least 10 plus 2 plus yeah. 5. Wow. So that's going to be 17 damage to him off rip. Got you. And then we'll have you guys roll for initiative. Uh, so okay. let's go ahead and get everyone in a combat encounter here. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> Ooh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we'll have these guys enter combat as well. They do not have hit points at the moment, though, so I got to give them hit points really quick. Uh, sure. They each go for around 20 people, so we're going to say that each hit point is a person. They are not that trained in combat. Okay. Um, but they are here, and we are going to begin the combat. And we're going to roll some initiatives. Okay. Uh, we're gonna wait. Let me know when it's set, because then I can just end my turn, because then it'll pop up back to the Yeah, front. yeah. Uh, it is all set now, so feel free to end your turn. Okay. It's going to come to that acolyte, the one with the crown of madness. You want him mm -hmm. to continue attacking? Yeah. Yep. Makes sense. Uh, he's going to animate chains. Uh, oh. And he's going to throw chains around the other one, trying to subdue them. Uh, they need to pass just a base strength check. So let's do this. Oh, saving throw. Six versus his Nat twenty. Okay, oh yep, he is gosh. subdued. Uh so the crown of madness uh has subdued this uh this acolyte who has stopped his um chanting, and you notice that your magical powers are sort of stronger uh here at gotcha. the moment. As like the quietness of uh or the silence is overtaken again by the explosions and the raucous uh, noise around you, as mm -hmm. opposed to the chanting. Your mind focuses a little better into the ley lines of the land. Gotcha. Um, it'll then come to the villager here, who will do as you command. Would you like uh, them to stay still? Um, I'll say... They can how, do a how... basic attack. Basically. Okay, how, how far can they move? They can move four spaces. Okay, I'll just have them move four spaces, but that's about it. One, and they're all melee attacks, right? No range? They're all melee attacks. Okay, gotcha. They're basically like just outfitted with pitchforks and improvised weapons. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the smartest then... and brightest got it out safe. I just took like 40 <laughs> regular degular people just to grab Golden Run. <laughs> yeah, you're like, hey guys, we're going to go get a bunch of gold really quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, as this continues, this guy needs to try and get out of his animate chains. He's going to use his full turn to break apart the chains uh, and have them cast aside so he can gotcha. no longer cast uh, chains. Then comes the next villager. Would you like him to move forward as well? Correct. One, two, three, four. And he will pass his turn. Then there's this one. He turns around and goes, <sighs> uh, and, but he continues his chanting. Through even the grunts, you see him recompose himself, hold his maul high uh, as he goes for a swing. Got you. 18 hits. 18 hits. Seven damage. Okay. And with that, 
He passes his turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to bonus action Crimson right, right of the Dawn. So okay. um, I take 1d6 damage. Watch roll 1d6. Okay, so I take four points of damage as I spill. Basically, I take the blade and I kind of, or the glaive, and I kind of cut it up my leg. And as the blood kind of attaches to it, uh, mm -hmm. it's going to be right of dawn. So the weapon sheds bright light out of 20 feet. I have resistance to necrotic damage. Um, I don't think these guys are considered undead, but I do an extra 1d6 of radiant on all of my attacks. 1d6 radiant, got you. Yeah, okay. And mm -hmm. if they are undead, that's uh, doubled, correct? Yeah, so the 1d6 yeah. gets doubled, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to then action attack this guy, and this time I'm not going to forget that I have two attacks for action. <laughs> there you go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Here you go. Okay. Oh, also, so, this villager should probably not be standing in the fire. I'm going to put him there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, go, go for your attack. First one's a 25. That hits. That hits. Damage. Um, It's going to be a 7. 7 damage plus your 1d6. Yeah, thank you. Plus my 1d6. Yeah, you hurt yourself for it. Might as well use it. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So it's 13 total for the first attack. That will actually be doubled against him. You found Ooh, something let's out. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so that's 12. Okay, okay, okay. Or do you want me to roll twice or just roll once and take the double? Uh, No, no that's just doubled for this. Oh, okay, got you, got yeah. you. Okay. Uh, let's go. Okay. So as you, as you cover uh, your glaive in the hardened blood that coalesces around you, the rest of the blood on your leg suturing itself up, uh, available as a well, but not um, actively bleeding out. Um, and you push it through the acolyte. You notice that the blood expands and like gains these razory barbs around it as when it contacts the flesh of this undead creature. The hymns pause, but for a moment. And even and through this heightened sense of clarity, you see the acolyte for what it is. A corpse controlled by the mask. Oh, oh, that's badass. It okay. then resumes its control, and the chanting grows louder. Okay, okay, so my second attack. Here, he's still alive, correct? Yep. Okay, second attack. <laughs> Ten. It does not hit. Okay. Uh, then I believe that is everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, as uh, you go for that second stab and you miss going through the cloth, uh, the cloak and uh, puncturing a hole, you see Polly run up to the edge going, get, get me out of here. I can help. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you end your turn. Yeah. Okay. Comes over here to the acolytes and I imagine you want them to keep swinging at each other. Correct. That would be ideal. Uh... What is he going to do here? He's not hurt, so he's going to just go for a maul attack. With a nat 20. Okay. So he's going to be dealing 14 damage to this guy. And we'll end his turn. It will go to the villagers now. What would you like the bottom villager to do? Um. Oh, man. Um, I want him... He's not going to do anything. He's just, he's, he's going to stand right there. Okay. He, uh, the group of villagers stands before you, unsure what to do, and holds place. He'll then come back to this acolyte, who is going to swing his glaive at his friend. 13. Uh, that will hit, so let's deal some damage. For six damage. And then uh, with a bonus action that he cannot do anything with. So it then comes to the top villager. Would you like them to wait as well? Um, no, this villager is, if he can, going to come up and make an attack on the, the cultist. Okay. He has just a base 20. 
and he misses. The group comes around and sort of like uh, they they are not trained for combat. They don't know how to mm -hmm. do this, and they sort of like wildly jab out at him uh, Got you. as he uh, gets out of the way. This acolyte will now use his feature to heal self. Oh, okay. Too. Scary, scary, scary. The chanting grows louder, and through the sound, uh, through the noise that you hear, it's almost like your brain goes fuzzy for a second, and when you regain focus, you notice that where there were gashes and cuts across him, they have now focused themselves up. Got you, got you. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then we'll pass his turn. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not scared. You're scared. Um, <laughs> let's go with. Um, choose one creature to see within feet. Uh, we'll, we'll save that. Um, okay. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So just two attacks. Sorry. Two that. attacks. Yeah. Let's go for it. Shabam. Twenty. That hits. Got you. Roll some damage and remember your D6. Got you. Oh! <laughs> never mind. You don't even need to roll the D6. He is gone. Okay. He's, he's dead. Zos. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. You um, thrust your gla you thrust your glaive through him, uh, and you like cut upwards through the mask as it cracks and sizzles. You hear this odd humming, uh, stop coming from it and sparks uh, that were flying for just a brief instant quickly fade out. Okay. So instead of my... I want to I know if you'll allow this. Instead of my second attack for action, can mm -hmm. I use that instead to pick up his mask? Bonus action, uh, that's an interaction, so you can. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, then I'll use my, uh, my bonus action to pick up his mask. Okay. And I'm going to pocket that. You pocket one broken initiative, or one broken acolyte mask. Yeah. This, you know, bully saw makes that alive. We are studying that shit. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, then my movement. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have the villagers let out Polly. Is this gate in front of me locked? It is open. It is open. Okay, so then I will. Two, three, four, and then um. Yeah, I yeah, because my glaive can't reach, obviously. So that's just where I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. Go ahead and end your turn. Here comes to this acolyte. Uh, does he still have to be making saving throws during this crown of madness? Oh yeah, let me double check. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, you're right. You're all good. I gave I gave him some free turns for it. He's charmed. To maintain of the our spell ends. Also, the target make wisdom. Oh yeah, he can make wisdom saving throws at the end of each of his turns. On a success, oh, the spell ends. Got you. Oh yeah, and you technically were supposed to use your action to maintain control over him. That's okay. fine. For this, like, you, uh, I'm gonna say that you don't have to use your actions to maintain control over him. Bully saw okay. sort of used to that. Oh, just gotcha. a second, I have to ban a uh, bot. We love, we love that. That's fun. Uh, <laughs> timeout, ban. There we go. Uh. <clears throat> So you don't have to use your action, but he will make saving throw DCs at okay. the beginning of his turn. Okay. Six definitely doesn't do it. Let's go. And he's going to go for another mall strike. Nineteen hits. For five damage. Let's go, baby. I'll take it. And then ends his turn. Comes to the bottom villager. Um, he's gonna run over to Polly's cage or as far as he can go. Okay. And he'll then come back over here to this acolyte, who will also uh seeing you and knowing the source of this go continue the fight. He will break free, allowing an attack of opportunity. Go. Oh. Missing. Oof. 
<laughs> as he runs to you and swings his glaive at you. Got you. 16, 16 hits. 16 hits. Take nine damage. Got you. And then comes the top villager. Would you like him to also go to Polly's? Uh, no, he's going to run up as far as he can. And if he can hit that guy, then he's going to. And four. We'll put him there for you. Uh, and he's going to roll his base D20. That Let's hits. Go. Okay. And he is able to deal 2d6 of damage. Uh, eight. And now here's the interesting part for these villagers that I was thinking of. So that's their base uh -huh. damage. But based yeah. on how many villagers you still have left, they're able to increase their damage for how many you keep alive. You have 20 up, and they'll each do half a point of damage, so you get an extra 10 on top of that. Oh, let's go. Okay. That crowd runs up going, Hey, we got your boss. <laughs> and then they just skewer this guy with fucking uh, <laughs> all of their farmer's equipment, various things that they found laying around, bashing him on the skull, just going to town on this fucker. Uh, he go. is still just barely alive, but he is okay. alive. And it comes to you. Um, are there flanking rules or any bonuses to flanking or not? Flanking here, no. Okay, got you. Um, then I'm just gonna run up like that. Um, and but yeah. Ooh, okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna attack with my glaive. Okay. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Features. Oh no, inventory. Features. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen hits. Let's go. Damage. Um, that plus. No, he's dead. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's so go. Let's go. As as the crowd is sort of like going to town on him, absolutely skewering him through everything that they can. It's like this panic attack that they are all unleashing on this acolyte, going like, attacking our home, will ya? And bop, bop, bop. And then you just twirl around behind them as he's busy looking at them. He's right through his neck. Quick. And his head is decapitated. Let's go. Okay. Um. So I moved one square. You moved I one can, square. I can only move four. Was that it? No, no. Four for commanding them back before oh. there wasn't initiative. You have your normal oh, okay. movement speed now. Okay. So that's one. Yeah, I'm not tapped in. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attack this guy with my last attack. Ooh, breaking the crown of madness on him then. Yes, sir. 24. 24, 24 hits. Oh, let's go. My and 15, then, okay. And then three radiant, so 18 total. Six radiant. Six radiant, let's go, baby, 21. There you go. You still up? Yep, yeah, you still up. Okay. <laughs> Anything else you can do? Uh, no. That's that's gonna be everything for now. Hell yeah. Let's uh and turn real quick. Oh yeah, thank you. And then it will come to the satellite who you see uh the crown of blood quickly whoosh, wash over him, staining it in a uh, crimson red. Uh, and then he will look at you slowly at first. And the chanting resumes, growing louder. And he will heal himself. Oh, that rat. Twelve. Uh, oh, whoa, it didn't work. Just a second. Fifteen is when he had it first. And then we do the plus twelve. There you go. They healed him. Uh, and he will... Then, end his turn. Comes to the bottom villager, who's near Polly. I imagine you want him to go up and just free him. Correct. Goes over, uses a uh, bonus action. Because he is not a skilled thief like you, he is not sure how to break these things. So he's going to do a skill check. <laughs> uh, he has a plus one in this. The DC is 15. Gotcha. <laughs> is Sick. unable to break it. Polly's like, okay. Come on, please, you have to help me out. And they're like, I, I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, that acolyte is dead now. So it comes to the top villager. Do you want him to rush as yeah, well? Uh, 
<laughs> um, no, no, I don't want him to. Okay, you want him to say where he is? Um, actually, oh wait, I can't, I can't make the inside check. Not on my turn. Um, I, ooh, 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 uh, yeah, sure, he's gonna run up and stab him. <laughs> the the crowd of people rushes over the table, Let's like go. a flood of uh, just a force of nature running forward and stabbing everything they have at this one. This These acolytes are just a manifestation of them losing everything that they have ever known, the entire home that was built for them that is now going up in flames around them. Mm -hmm. And they rolled a strike. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. It's rough. <laughs> what you got? Okay. Okay, well, just two attacks. Let's go, baby. There you go. First one. Not 20. <laughs> okay. Not 20. I can... Okay, yep, yep, yep. Uh, how so much damage does that thing do? Again? Max damage, that's 1d10 plus 5, and then plus the d6, so that's 15 plus 12, uh, 27. Wait, isn't that 7? 17 damage base? Uh, No, because mine is... My, my glaive does 1d10 plus 5. Interesting. For some reason, it also has like two... Oh, two of it is slashing, I guess. Yeah, or no, so I have... I have um a thing where if um uh what's it called if i roll a one or a two on damage i get to re-roll oh gotcha yeah. it's okay. like the, the the great weapon master or something yeah yeah okay so it's 15 plus your d6 uh in this case he is an undead so that'll be 12 so that'll be 15 plus 12 yeah okay uh which is exactly his hp Oh my god. What's okay. it like what's it like as you end the crown of madness on him? Um I'm going to drop it and the blood is almost gonna not splatter on the floor, but come back to my glaive and it's gonna like almost sharpen his jagged edges and break off as I kind of hit him with the glaive and cut off his head. Oh shit. And as it does that it recoalesces onto your weapon, ready for its next strike, and you see the lifeless oh. husk before you with uh give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, attributes. Yep. 16. Uh, as the corpse falls to the ground, you are able to hear, uh, if but faintly, a connection terminated. What? Oh, I'm pick I'm picking up this mask too, and I'm gonna look at like the inside of it, and also check out the person's body and i'm gonna kind of take whatever would be my next action to kind of investigate this body okay got you um we will end the combat for here because there is no more immediate threat gotcha so you take off the mask and you uh you look at it as you pick it off um you notice that the face beneath it is scarred savaged uh through the like remnants of time like even though it looked like it was a young 20 something uh that you were fighting the person's face looks extremely aged and rotted and boiled like if you took like a 96 year old and you threw their face into a vat of acid um there's these odd little plug marks uh pockmarked across the face as well that seem to have like a spark or two go tss, tss, and then fade out as there's no more uh connection um, and then you look into the mask and you see that there are this collection of lights scattered, uh, in these weird shapes that you don't understand laying ley lines in odd 90 degree angles, uh, nothing of a natural sort that you're used to with your blood magics. And through that mask, that seems that there's a small iron mesh of a grate uh <laughs> and through that iron mesh of a grate you hear a final sound like something's ticking it, it's more like a like a a, a hiss a crackle oh, okay that okay. sort of like uh is winding down as it like is uh losing its energy over a long period okay. of time got you okay yeah that's crazy um oh 
Yeah, Volley Saw is going to... I'm going to look at the other one that I picked up because that one was broken. Does that one also seem like it's like giving off... Like it looks like it's still kind of giving off energy like the whole one that I'm holding? No. It looks like any energy it has has immediately dissipated. It is uh, dead. And instead of lights all being adorned around it, uh, instead it's just these odd little base... Uh, odd, odd little basins where it looks like they have things gathered inside them. You're not exactly sure how, how this works. This is all very foreign to you. Yeah. Um, but there are no lights emitting out of it for this one, at least. And where the crack in the mask is from where you split it open, there's these odd little metal ropes extending out of it with even tiny, tinier little ropes coming out of those ones. Uh. Hmm. Too bad Volisaw has never built a PC before. Um, so, <laughs> okay, but these two masks, they look the same. The only thing is that one is broken and one is still kind of hissing very slowly. Yes. Okay, he's going to take that. The one that's hissing, he's going to set that back down where it was. Because nobody's tracking Volisaw, bro. Um, and then he's going to take <laughs> the broken one and he's going to keep that one. The one okay. that doesn't have any life in it, yeah. Got you, um, got you, got you. <laughs> um... Then, yeah, then if Polly isn't out yet, he's going to check on that. Yeah, they are still trying to get Polly out, and they're like, I don't know how to do this. He's just gonna And Polly's like, let me out, please. With his glit. Is there, is it, uh, how is the lock? Like, if it, is it something that if I it is a try to. so basic lock. It is so bi fucking basic. It's just a pad okay. lock. Then, yeah, then I'm, I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and, first, I'm going to try and pick it. <laughs> okay. Uh, the DC mm -hmm. for you is 10. Okay. Got you. 1D. Is it just a regular 1D20 or what do I add to this? Uh, dexterity. Okay, got you. Oh, oh my best stat, a plus one. <laughs> a best one. <Nine>. <laughs> yeah! I'm going to take the blunt end of my glaive and hit the lock. You you try and wrap your fingers around this basic padlock going like, you're a fucking Nightwing, Volisaw, you have this. And the key like quickly snaps uh, as like a cacophonous like explosion rattles above you, like mm -hmm. pushing your hand into the padlock and breaking the, the pick. And you're like, ah, fuck it. And you just break uh, break the iron and the gate swings free <laughs> as, well, as uh, Polly steps forward going, oh, thank you. And he wraps his uh, big woolly arms around you. I thought I thought I was going to die here. They're, 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 we have to escape. We can't get the gold in here. There's there's another one in the vault. Fully saw. Or not fully saw. Um, oh, what's his name? Polly. Dolly? Polly? Po yeah. Uh, Polly. Two questions. Who, what, how many more are in there? Just one, but it's the leader. Okay, second question. Do you have anything on you to help these cuts? Uh, he, Any, I know yes, points to yes. I, 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 can, I can handle that. Yes, uh, here. And he is going to uh, do a cure wounds for you. That will be 2d8 plus four. Let's go. I roll or you roll? Uh, you. You go okay, for it. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's roll. 2d8 plus 4. Okay, 10. I'll take it. Let's go. 10, 10. That's good. What was your max? I think it was like 52. 57. Okay. Yeah. So I'm at... Yeah, I'm 10 below my max. Okay. 10 below your max. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. Okay, here we go. Um, And then he's going to look. He goes, thank you, friend. Now, Likewise. I need you to make it to the tunnel, or you can help me at least slow them down before they hunt the rest of the group. Give me a quick perception check. Perception, gotcha. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> uh, the roar of the noises above you, the loud explosions, the chanting growing louder sort of drowns everything out and your mind goes fuzzy as to Polly's response. All you can make out is a, but what? And if I do that, and your mind sort of, like you have to like slap yourself for a second. It's almost like you're being drawn out of focus for anything happening here before um, when you rattle yourself, Polly goes, I, I'm sorry, what was I saying? Polly, you're either following me to help the fight or you're leaving and then i'm gonna start walking 
towards the vault. I can't fight. I'm sorry. I have to live for my children. And he's going to look to the villagers going, are you coming with me? There's an escape right around the corner. It is now up to you if you would like those villagers to go with you or not. Remember that each villager token is worth 20 villagers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at them and go, at this point, you can solidify your fate as Nightwings or you can save yourself. Give me a charisma check. Gotcha. Eleven. You see half of them go with Polly. And the other half put their pitchforks down uh, and walk over to you. Or sorry, and a pit put their pitchforks down, like sort of plant their pitchforks uh, mm -hmm. as they go. You took us in when no one else would. We owe you our lives, and if that life leads to death, so be it. Good men. Now let's get this vault opened. And uh. these two will leave. Uh, and before you go through there, mm -hmm. uh, these villagers will walk up, and you will see the grand vault before you, where the Nightwings have stored all of their gold all of their collective earnings and everything that Truth and Dare have fought for to build the empire that they have. And as you open that vault... Right before, I'm going to cast oh. Armor of Agathis on myself at second level to give myself 10 temporary hit points. Okay. Go ahead and... Also, it, I believe it also heals? Um, I, it, it Wait, shouldn't. it says you gain... Oh, yeah, because you're doing it at second level, so it's not... Yeah. Uh, so it gotcha. should just be 10 temp HP, and then whenever someone hits me, they take that that much yeah, damage. Yeah, that temp HP. Oh, wait, they take that much damage? I'm, if a creature hits you with a melee attack with these, the creature takes 5 cold damage, which would be oh, 10 in this 10. instance. Okay. So, yeah, until the temporary hit points is gone, then they then they stop taking damage every hit. Got you. Okay. I'm assuming he's going to probably do more than 10 damage in one hit. Yeah. And as you, uh, you steal yourself, Recenter, refocus. You cast the armor of Agathis to you. And as that, like, a soft shimmering blue encases you, uh, you open the door to the vault of everything that the Nightwings have seen and owned. And you see amongst the rubble. This door icon is badass. <laughs> yeah. You see Clev amongst your the treasury of gold, sort of casually drawing his fingers through it, as much of the gold, then you look up, is actually on the ceiling itself, that it's risen up from the ground, levitating, and his head slowly looks to you and goes, oh, we're doing this, are we? And the gold yeah. whoo, falls back to the ground, and he twirls out his own glaive in front of you. All right, then. No shitty little speeches or anything. Let's get this over with. And I like you, you anal bead fuck. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and we will uh, start initiative. New initiative? New initiative. Let's go. As I also need to take a vision off this guy. Okay. And through the chanting, we will begin the final encounter here. Very nice, very nice. It begins with Clev, who will go, let's take things off simple first. And he comes at you and strikes you with his glaive. Okay, I'll allow it. Does a 16 hit? Fuck, yes, a 16, <laughs> 16 just hits. <laughs> okay. You'll then do damage. 15. 15, okay. He takes 10 cold. <laughs> He'll take 10 cold. I'm okay with that, okay. As he strikes uh, into your armor of Agathis, the cold whoosh, 
ripples across his glaive, up down his pole arm, and into his uh, into his hands, giving him small bits of frostbite. He goes, "Ha ha! Oh, you pre you prepared yourself." <laughs> and he'll end his turn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Um, uh, glaive. Two attacks with my glaive. Okay. Okay, 27. That hits. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Seven damage, oh. plus your, you still got your uh, d6 prepped. Correct. Oh, I, I put in the wrong command. 301 d6. Okay. Okay, so okay. That's 13. Do I see the radiant damage doing anything special to him? No. Okay, okay. Not as much. Uh, second attack. 23. That hits. That hits. Okay. <laughs> I love Butler. He's scared. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. okay. Six. And then Got a D6 the in there D6. still? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. 11. 11. Okay. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do? Oh, man, you're making me scared like I should be. <laughs> um, um, okay, okay. Um, no, that's going to okay. be everything for now. Got you. Yeah. Goes, uh, pass your turn off to the villager, and the villager will do what you command. Um, they only got one action. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, but they're going to... They're, I know flanking doesn't do anything, but they're still going to get behind him and flank. Okay. The crowd rushes around him. Uh, trying to encircle him, but his just massive built frame is making it so they can only like stay in one direction behind him as he doesn't even look at their direction. He's like, they're not worth my time. And they go for a swing. Making them, unfortunately, miss. Okay. And then passes to Clev. We'll go, all right, we're doing this, are we? He will leave, giving you both an opportunity of attack. Oh, let's go. Okay. Um, oh, I don't get the sense of what he's trying to do, right? I just get the sense that he's leaving. Yeah. It, it, he is still doing his turn. You will not be able to tell what he's doing yet. Okay, got you. 26. 26 hits. 12. So 12. Plus, plus six, 18. 18. Okay. 18 points. And then the villagers will roll to hit. Oh. Dealing their damage. They will do slash uh, 2d6. And they will be able to add uh, 10 to their number. So dealing 14 damage. Let's go. And he will continue his turn as... Oh, was it only... Did I not, like, rename them all? Okay, that's fine. I got his character sheet. Um... He will cast Gravity Well. It's called New Spell, but uh, I'll, I'll rename it for the rest Got of the fight. Sure. So, I need you to make a saving throw, a constitution saving throw. Oh, the DC sick. here is 16. Okay. Sixteen, baby. Okay. But the villagers, unfortunately, failed. Oh, that's fine. So you can take half this. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. That's only two. Add one more to that. So that's 17. Uh, so you're taking nine, and they're taking 17. Got you. And he, you see as he reaches his hand out, and a little uh, individual singularity appears between the two of you as uh let me get it here as a sphere of gravity suddenly starts pushing you down to the ground you are able to just barely fight past it raising your hand up supported by the blood the blood sniff stiffening in your arm refusing to go down but the villagers were not so lucky many of them just crush to the ground almost okay. like pulverized into a pulp only three of them reaction. remain 
Okay. And I'm going to do, I don't, uh, Blood Curse of the Fallen Puppet. Uh, so, like, when a creature you see uh, within 30 feet of you drops to zero, you can use reaction to have that creature make one weapon attack against a target of your choice. I have to amplify it, though. Uh, it, so that no one has dropped to move. zero. Oh, oh, oh. I thought, okay, my bad. My they're bad. not dead gosh. yet. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. Then I will not do that. Okay. Yep. <laughs> their, their number has gone from 20 to three. Got you. Okay. You saw 20 of them die, which I guess in this ruling would be like a creature, but they're being treated as one. Okay. Okay. Yep. Got you. Uh, he will pass his turn though. Got you. Does this seem like a lingering effect? Like, is it still here? Uh, this is an instant. So it leaves actually. Okay. Got it was you. sort of just like a, a moment in time and suddenly the gravity <sighs> releases and you feel yourself able to control yourself again. Okay. Got you. Okay. Okay. Got you. Um, you know, just because I have that free action, I'm going to just see what he's looking like right now. Sure. Okay. Uh, what would that be? Perception? The, uh, insight or investigation. Okay. There you go. 13? 13? Does not pass. Okay. Gotcha. Um, then it's going to be bonus action. Should have done this earlier, but bonus action. Um... It's going to be Hexblade's Curse. Hexblade's Curse. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, you gain okay, the bonus to the damage creatures. rolls against the target. The bonus equals your proficiency bonus, so you'll double your proficiency because you're a master. Gotcha. Uh, any attack roll you make against the cursed target is a critical hit on a roll of 19 or 20. And if the cursed target dies, we don't care about the cursed target dying. That's an end to the whole gotcha. encounter thing. Gotcha. Okay, so here we go. Um... Then I'm gonna wop, wop, wop. Go right here and glaive. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Then damage, and this has a plus three on what I roll because of the curse. Plus your one d six. Yes. So that's eighteen just with the glaive. Yep. And then flash R one D six. And then an extra two. So twenty points of damage for the first attack. Okay. Then second attack. Eighteen? Eighteen. Uh let me double check. Hits. Oh thank god. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that scared me. It was close. Okay. That's going to be 11 points of damage from the glaive, plus... Yep. Five radiant. Five radiant, okay. So that's going to be 16 damage. Yes, sir! <laughs> okay, um, that's used. And that's all I can do. Um, that was a lot. You did yeah. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It comes to the villagers, and seeing... Almost their entire number wiped out in one needs to make a will or like a sort of willpower check to see if they can stay in the fight here. Um, that's reasonable. That's gonna be wisdom for them. So let's do a wisdom check. They still hold strong. They meant their words when they said it to you. Their lives are yours, whether that be for this world or the next. Um, and they rush forward. Can attacking. I give them a command before yes. that they choose to do something? Yeah. Um, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like motion to where the mask is, the broken one on my hip, and I'm gonna point to the three of them that are still up, and I'm gonna be like, um, I know you kept, or I know you made a problem list, but take this and run. It's our only hope. And I'm gonna point to the broken mask that's on my hip so that they can grab it and run. Okay. And hopefully save themselves. They run to you. Uh, the last three remaining villagers. Describe what these three villagers look like. Okay. Um, I would definitely say that there is just a, just kind of a scrawnier looking human, kind of disheveled hair, brunette, uh, brown eyes, very just like scrawny looking. Um, the other person would probably be another brother in arms, another half orc, uh, kind of on the meteor side, but just holding a basic club. Mm -hmm. um, and then the third person 
would probably be uh, like a kind of a, a drow. Or, there's drow in this world, right? There's like absolutely drow. We okay, could okay. we could have this be like a female drow that's like a farmer yeah. lady with them, uh, yeah. who sort of just like they're not taking my place, and she like ra raised her a uh, pitchfork and ran with the others when everything happened. You yeah, look to so... these three, and uh, they take the mask from you, and you look in each of their eyes as you tell them, "Take this, run. You have to bring this to the other Nightwings," and they look at you with a solemn. God fearing uh dead set eyes as they go, we will make sure it happens. And they run off. Okay. <sighs> and oh can I yell shut the door <laughs> too? They shut the door. Let's go. Let's go. And you hear the vulgo and then like a spinning of gears outside as they uh lock it or not fully lock it, but like it closes behind you. And then I'm just going to look at Clev and just go, it's me and you, fucker. One of us is dying like men. Ha <laughs> ha! I like it. Let's do it. Okay. Um. Wait, I think... And, uh, oh, yeah, I it, it accidentally passed Clev's turn. Got you, okay. Uh, Clev sort of, like, uh, takes a hand up, and you see him, like, lift his mask just a little bit, just enough to see a chin as he wipes uh, his thumb behind it. And when it comes out, there's like a speck of blood. I haven't felt this alive in a while. Time to raise it up another notch. And he will cast Gravity Sinkhole. All these saves, bro. This bitch. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, and he's going to make a 20-foot circle that he is immune to. Oh. Oh, Okay. Oh, let's go. Let's go suck my dick, Cliff. <laughs> 17, 17, 17. Okay, okay. Um, if on a successful, are you still taking the damage the creature takes? I didn't know pulled it into the end. The creature takes half as much damage and isn't pulled. Uh, also, he would have put that uh, thing not towards you. He wanted to put it over here. He wanted sure. to try and drag you into the gold, but you see a slew of coins just start whirling around in a whirlwind of uh, gold, metal, and all these other precious uh, ores. And you're just able to barely hold your ground against it as you take five or half of what's coming. Got you. Oh, that's a lot of, okay. 37 divided by 2. Got you. That would be 18.5. You round up. 19 damage. Okay. Okay. Got you. And as that uh, gravity sinkhole starts swirling around, it goes, ha, 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 I haven't let loose since I took out the bandits over at West. Let's keep it going. Um, okay, I'm gonna look at Clev, and after kind of planting my glaive in the ground so I don't get pulled, I'm gonna pull it out, and I'm gonna be like, how do you do with invisible targets? Um, then, I'm going to cast Misty Step, not invisibility, and, uh, teleport behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personnel, kid. Yeah. Do you go for any, uh, any strikes yeah. or anything? Yeah, okay. so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna use my bonus action to teleport behind him and see if that gives me any like anything just to like kind of teleport behind him and attack very quickly. Um, I want you to roll a stealth check, and he's gonna roll a perception check. Oh, okay, sick. Um, okay, I have a question, and I'm definitely yes. reaching and grabbing with this. Uh huh. But so my armor imposes disadvantage, but technically, since I'm not like actually like stealthily moving, it's just kind of like a teleport. Do I still need that disadvantage? Mm. No, you don't. It's a teleport. Okay. okay, got you. So just a straight roll. 20. Let's this is his go. 15. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> you get a stealth check, which means you attack at advantage. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. Shoot, boom. Advantage. Oh, 15? A 15 does not hit. Okay. 
So yeah, I'll go with the blunt side of my with my glaive, and it kind of just slams on his shoulder and does nothing to him. And you just um, look up as you see the mask just flits over to your direction, going, "Clever trick. Too bad I've seen it before." Oh, really? Where? And then I'm gonna try and stab him in the gut. <laughs> go for it. Yeah. Second attack. There we go. Oh. No shot. Oh my god. And as you go for the second stab, he grabs your glaive and goes, too many times to count. You're definitely not the first and you won't be the last. And he throws it aside back to you, pushing you back a couple feet. I said, keep things interesting. Just, holy saw is just going to shrug his shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he's going to... I'm also going to yell at him and be like, Finish me with your glaive like a man. Stop doing this wizard shit. Oh, of course. But first, I got one more trick to show you. You thought you were uh, tricky with that. Let's see how you see this. And he's going to... Oh. You're going to see him put his hand out to his mask. Quickly put his, uh, like, whisk it in front of his uh, face, letting the fingers drag. And you feel your attention go fuzzy again as you're, like, w just uh, barely able to hold on to your focus. As that lapse of judgment, he's suddenly no longer there. Oh. Oh, Wait. sorry. And you hear a crunch of gold off to the distance. Okay. And then echoing out through the gold bars as it becomes your turn. You made it easy to find you. Let's see if you can find me. Okay. Okay. Ooh, um, I'm. Can I use my free check to try and find him? You can. Okay, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, let's go. You get a free check, and then you'll have your main action, bonus action, if you fail it. Gotcha. Twenty-one. You're able to hear a crunch of gold, uh, letting you know that he is at least in this area. Okay, 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 you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, um, okay, yeah. Then I'm going to slash my glaive uh, without moving, and I'm going to basically send two Eldritch Blasts on i'm just gonna pick random squares um, got you wait where's like a okay okay there we go there, there's a yeah hold your uh, hold your x and you'll you'll be able to ping uh we'll do we'll do this square first okay so yeah so i'm just gonna throw an eldritch blast up there we'll do attack here we go eldritch blast 23 your eldritch blast shoo, goes in and makes a cacophonous sound as gold flits around and explodes, leaving a giant crater there. No one okay. in it. Okay. Then I'm going to do the other respective side right here with the second beam. Okay. 25. Same as before. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Um, oh, fuck. Um, then, you know, I'm just going to get really scared. Um, and what do I have? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Um, uh, let's see if this can cost for a minute. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to, then I'm going to one, two, three, four, and put my back up to the wall with my glaive kind of out so that Ooh. he can't come from behind me. Okay, okay. Yeah. He, you unfortunately can't ready an action because you've already attacked. Yeah. Unless Eldritch Blast is bonus action? No, it's no, one action. I, no, because, okay. yeah, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, I will keep this, I, I, I won't keep this up because he will be moving on his turn. Got you. I'm going to yell out, though, B. I'm not going to lie, Clev. <laughs> you're, a, you're, a, you're a strong foe. But if you could kill me like a man, I'd find great honor in that. Let me see your ugly face when I die. Oh, gladly. And goes to his turn. As you hear, 
crunch. Uh, whoop. As you hear a crunch, another, and yet another. There's a pause as the chanting grows louder for a moment, and you wonder if he's stopping there before... Roll me a perception check. Okay. Yes, sir. 12. 12? Your uh, mind goes hazy again. You're not exactly sure where he is and when you come back to focus, but he hasn't attacked yet, and you get another turn. Okay. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and look for him again with my free check. Go for it. There we go. Inside. 14. 14. That's exactly what I wanted you to get, and you got it. Let's go. You can tell that he is within here. Oh, rat bastard. Okay. Um... Okay, um, then yeah, I'm going to, then one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get over here, and then I'm going to send out one Eldritch Blast when I swing the glaive here. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, nat 20. Ah, ah, ah. Miss. No! Oh, that's so pitiful. Okay. Um, <laughs> you were like, I, that that covers surely three squares, right? <laughs> yeah. Or at least everything on the way. I'm just kidding. Um, okay. Sure, and, it covers everything on the way. Oh, let's I'll go. Say, okay. I'll say that. They all missed. Okay. That's totally fine. Um, then that rat bastard has to be right here in the corner. Because he's well, that bitch when you play... Uh, when you play Battleship. Oh, know? that hugs it in the corners? Yeah, it hugs the corners, you know? Has uh -huh, to be. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Has to be. 18. Miss. Okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you, Glove. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, then, yeah, that's that's where I'm, I'm ending, and I'm still just back to the wall. Got you. A voice comes out going, All right, I bore of this. Let's deal this face to face. Well, I knew you were there. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Butler in the chat was like, every time you were one square off. <laughs> oh my gosh. And he's going to go for his glaive strike at you. <sighs> this could spell death for you. Okay. Silvery barbs. <laughs> Silvery barbs. Silvery barbs. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Uh, the reaction, where is it? Uh, oh, it's a spell. Uh, no, that's about a spell reaction. Here we go. Silvery Barbs. He has to re-roll uh, and taking the lower. Okay. And then I'm going to give myself advantage. 16. Fuck. Oh, that's one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> My AC is 15. Damn. Okay. Is that it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that's so rough. <sighs> Unfortunate. Okay. Uh, this is oh, how wait, this. No, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm oh? not dead. You're not oh. dead. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. 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 I have. I have. Um. 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 Oh. oh yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Relentless endurance. When you are reduced to zero HP but not killed, you can drop to one HP instead. <gasps> oh, once per long rest. I'm yes, still up, baby. I'm still oh up. Oh my god, let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm still up. Wait, wait, wait. Can I see the feet? Can I see? Po post it. Post it. Post it. Uh, yes, yes. So it's in racial traits. Here we go. Here we go. Features. Uh, relentless endurance. Relentless endurance. There we go. When you're just see Oh my god. Uh, you really brought it baby. out. Half orcs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. The glaive strikes into you, cleaving part of your arm off. You feel the blood trying to gain under your control and coalesce, trying to harden around itself. 
You're barely able to hold on. You're a focus. It fades. You see the blackness, the dark, for a moment before you hear everyone else, before you hear all of the other Nightwings fighting for their home. A fight that needs to still continue after this day. And you pull yourself back up and out. And you see the glaive stuck inside you. You pull your hand on it and uh, throw it out. Toss it back to him. And he looks at you and goes, Oh, a strong one here. You've sure delayed the inevitable him. for a second, but you have my respect. Breathing heavy, I'm just going to be like, Yeah. I wanted to let you know, there's a smudge on your mask, and I'm gonna use my two attacks with silvery barbs. My first one's at advantage, and I'm specifically aiming for his mask. Okay. Wait. Oh, so how how does that work? Uh, so silvery barbs, I gave him disadvantage. Yes. Uh, and in return, I can give another creature advantage off of that. Off of Got the spell. you. But but like when you're saying you're aiming for his mask, are you aiming to like oh. split it? I'm aiming just to like do whatever I can because I know I'm dying. And I know that if I can, I know I can't hurt him, but if I can do anything to like chip his mask or do anything like that, that I would fully saw would count that as a warrior's death. I don't even know if I can do that, but that's what I'm going to try and do is like my attacks okay, are going to yeah. try at his face. Hell yeah. Like... Okay. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Roll for it. Advantage. Okay. You got okay. this. Here we go. Here we go. Glaive. Attack. Advantage. 26. 26 hits. 26 Let's hits. Go. Okay, okay. Normal attack. Here we go. And then plus the... Plus a d6 plus the three. Yeah. Okay, so that's 14 plus two, 16. 16? <laughs> 16. Okay, that's the first attack. <laughs> what happens? What happens? You're... The first one, you're able to bring the glaive uh, and you sort of thrust it at him. As it goes, like, right... You're, you're like, headshot, please! Just a fucking headshot! As he <laughs> quickly dodges out of the way, but you're able to chip part of the mask uh, uh -huh. in here. Just at the very top, like, right where the the right horn meets the top edge of the mask, there's a small, uh -huh. almost insignificant chip, but it's fucking something. There's a yeah. moment there where he, he looks at it, and you feel his hand go up to him, and he goes, oh, ho, 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 ho! And you go for your second strike. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, okay, here we go. Yeah. Uh, this one's regular. Uh, 16? 16 hits. Let's fucking go. Okay, okay, okay. It's just enough. That's 12. 12. Plus 3, 15. 15 plus, plus your D6. 19. 19. <laughs> okay. Uh. <gasps> Okay. <laughs> okay, just a second. Yeah. As that one goes through, you're able to uh, strike at him again. This time, not able to exactly chip the mask, but you are able mm -hmm. to at least pull more damage into him. Your yeah. blood coalesces around him as it takes a hold inside his body, and it's only when he grabs it himself. This is like the fourth time you guys have grabbed each other's weapons and thrown it out of yourselves <laughs> that yeah. he tosses it back and goes... One more. Do it again. Oh, oh, wait, wait. wait he's, he's making me hit him again? Yeah. Uh, do I just roll another attack? Roll another attack. You get one. Oh, my God. <laughs> just a regular attack? No advantage? Regular attack. Got you. Oh, 14. 14. Unfortunately, doesn't hit. You strike uh -huh. back, going like stealing yourself, going, ha, 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 and you throw yourself at him as he catches the the glaive, snaps it in half. Oh. 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 Okay. He then looks at you and goes, "All right, <laughs> you've given me enough fun for today, but it always has to end." And he's going to first, uh, the second. He's going to first use. He's going to grab you, first off. You're at this point that there is no contest to this grab. He grabs you, you close. He pulls you close to his mask, and he goes, let's give you the end that you deserve. And he's going to use his helm of teleportation. He's going to drag you to the center of the treasure room, and he's going to throw you around, uh, your face going through all of the gold, 
each single piece a memento of what the Nightwings have earned. As you go through, Volisa's memories fly through him. He remembers Truth and Dare. He remembers uh, Ifa. He remembers Puck, all through being swirled around before being brought to bear against the unnerving smile of Clev's mask. And then a final... Now that was your past. Let's see your future. And he teleports you now to... Uh, wait a second. Because of this, this is actually going to be really interesting. He's going to... He teleports you out to the, on top of the, uh, the roof of the entire Nightwing's HQ. You see it burning, corrupted. Uh, you're so many dead villagers around it. You're able to glimpse around and see faces that you've known before, that you've guided, that you commanded but minutes beforehand. You're like 30 feet above this thing, drifting in the air as he just holds you aloft. And he goes, and now this HQ, this Nightwings that you feel so part of, you're going to become a part of it for good. And he drops you with a final goodbye. And he casts... Just a second. I need to... I want to pull up his character sheet because I didn't have it for this. As he casts... Ravenous Void, you see... Uh, the, for a second, the chanting grows quiet. There's nothing before you. Finally, a sense of focus and peace before the chanting rises. It swells. It brings itself to bear. It overwhelms you as you drown in the air buffeting past you. And right before you hit the ground, a whoo, there is no more HQ. There is only a crater a thousand feet wide. There is no more mountainside. There is only a crater. There is no more corpses. There is only a crater. And over that crater is a line of the other acolytes gathered in the circle, chanting. As the gravity encompasses you too, you feel yourself crumple, smaller and smaller, condensing into a space of matter. At first, your full size, then but four feet, then three, two, one, nothing. Volisa is dead. Clev, standing up top, in the air, controlling his own gravity, snaps his neck, or cracks his neck. And goes, all right, that was one. Let's move on to the next. And he's no longer there. Ooh. And with that, that is the end to the raid on the Nightwing's headquarters. Oh wow. my god. What an <laughs> end. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, dude. See, when I, during the sun penis fight, uh -huh. I was like, the sun penis seems like he has a lot of damn or like a lot of health. But I was like I was like, this guy seems manageable. And if he if if Clive is anything like him, I think I might have a chance. And Clive was just a whole different beast, dude. I I was like, what is going on? <laughs> oh, uh, they're they're two different parts of a team. They they yeah. run differently. To be fair, you did a lot of damage. You did almost a hundred fifty damage to him. Oh man! If what, he what, if what you had gotten him to twenty five percent, you were at sixty three. Okay. He had sixty three left. You almost did seventy five percent of his health. Oh but this my isn't, gosh! But this isn't counter health. This is not his final actual HP. Yeah. Um. But if you got him to the final 25%, there was a thing that was going to happen with it. You were oh right there at the gosh. cusp. That's why he gave you that final attack. Because you had been able to entertain him enough to, by surviving that long and bringing him just enough towards it 
that oh. he was like, you get one final attack on me. It was that final throw, that final roll that really made it happen. Oh, that, oh my gosh. Oh. I think that that hit me again line threw me off just as much as it threw a fully song. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Okay. Huh? <laughs> Wait, wh okay. And that's, that's when he, he had baited you in. Um, God, yeah. And, I mean, this was a lot stronger because, uh, like Butler said, you guys split up for this. Yeah. These guys were sort of uh, tweaked for a 1v3 sort of combat for whoever mm -hmm. you chose. But even for one person going against that, you you did amazing. <laughs> um, yeah. I will say that out of the entire crater that has been wiped out of existence of the Nightwing's HQ, as the chanting grew louder... There was one thing that survived the gravity crush, and that would have been Volisaw's uh, Nightwing's pin for his cloak, what? as it falls into the center of of the uh, of the crater. <sighs> oh man! But that's uh, that is the end to the flashback one shot of what happened. Um, what happened here? <laughs> man, dude, I never thought I'd be attached to Volisaw like this. I'm kind of sad. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <sighs> if you knew his past too and the other people he's seen in the campaigns, uh -huh. this is a this is a heavy hit here. Oh my god! There was a lot of history that just got erased. <sighs> oh my god, dude! I love this character. I might even great. like this character more than Truth, which is the scary thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh man. Dear. He he fought like a warrior though. He he brought it out. And especially the final struggle, the holding out when it was like, that's the yeah. end. You're like, no, no, it's not. With the relentless like, endurance. I was like, no. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no you made him a half orc, and I was like, oh sick, I get relentless endurance. Yeah. And then I completely forgot about it and I remembered it the last <laughs> second. <laughs> I totally forgot that half orcs get that. I was like, oh my god, the racial feat. <laughs> Oh shit, man! Oh, that was God. insane. What a what a battle! What an end! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> but you also you made sure that the mask got out. Yeah. There are people that are gonna tell the story of what happened here at the Nightwing's HQ. It yeah. hasn't gone completely erased. <gasps> oh my! And gosh. they ran away, seeing you in the vault with Clev. They know what happens. Oh, let's. Oh, dude! Oh my gosh, dude! I'm so I'm so pumped! I'm so pumped, and I died! Like this yeah, right? <laughs> like <laughs> what oh a gosh. what a what a fucking one shot session! This is only like an hour because we started a bit late. Yeah, like an hour twenty. Like man, oh, fuck. Man. <laughs> uh, oh God, dude. So Clev is scary, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh Clev is God. Clev is very scary. Clev has been here since the beginning, and you are not the first PC he's killed. Uh, oh. Even though this was like a one-shot PC, this is a uh, Clev and Albagor are not to be trifled with. Yeah, and they are. <laughs> I will let you know. Just a unit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And also, if you want to take on the Veil Lords. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but what were you saying? I was going to say, now I understand how dumb I was just walking up to them and talking to them, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, now you know sort of what was going through my head when you were like, I walk up to them and I'm like, you're not scary. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um, how many units does it take to be a Veil Lord? Satan, I'm not saying that. <laughs> but just rest assured that a Veil Lord is definitely stronger than a Mask Retrieval unit. An MRU yeah. is like the spec ops of this universe, but uh, there's definitely stronger. God damn. I think, I think, see, Clev was smart, but if Clev wasn't and it was Glaive v. Glaive, I think I would have held out a little bit yes. longer. Yes, you would have. Those spells were brutal. <laughs> <laughs> the spells oh. were, uh, you didn't even go through all of his gravity spells. He has like yeah. an entire spell book's worth. Um, one thing that you might have learned from this encounter is part of his mask's powers give him control of gravity. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Even more than just a regular gravity-based wizard. Uh, but yeah.
wow that was <laughs> yeah and i took a crumb out of his mask dude. you did you did i am actually i'm gonna update his artwork next time that you see clev after this there'll be a small little uh rewrite uh to some things because when truth saw clev he would have had the chip on his mask mm -hmm. oh man oh so you would have seen technically truth would have seen the final hit of what Voli saw his right wing his right hand man did oh and not even know it dude that's and crazy. not even know it yeah oh man I, yeah, I'm thinking to the ramifications of that. Roly saw <laughs> left his mark, even though he got crushed and eradicated from existence. He left mm -hmm. his mark, but yeah. no one might know what it is. God, dude. Oh my god, dude. I'm nerded out right now. This is. Right? I love this so much. This is great. Oh yeah. What, what, what are you? What are you thinking right now? What are you feeling? <laughs> I don't know. See, it's funny because like truth, like. I don't know, like, even if someone told Truth what all these people could do in great detail, I don't even think that he would still be, like, I don't know. For all the books that he's read, I feel like I've still had him pretty naive. Mm -hmm. I think he's just overconfident, and that's just, like, his whole character. Uh, he needs to be humbled. <laughs> he needs to get humbled. And By someone than <laughs> other than the people in the group. He needs to be <laughs> humbled. <laughs> And oh, learning what happened to the Nightwing's HQ might be one of the things that humbles him. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. He, he definitely thought that, like, if the Nightwing's ever got attacked, like, obviously they would be fine. <laughs> obviously they're fine, guys. Yeah. Nothing bad's gonna happen. And I then. Handpicked <laughs> all of them. They're fine. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. shit. I was like, I was like, the one that's like humming, the mask, is so much more interesting. Because, like, what if someone puts it on? What do they see? But then I'm like, these people seem pretty smart. I don't want them to know where this mask is going, so I'm going to take the one that's out of battery. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Satan's also right. You you have lost the whole treasury and the library. No book will have survived that, let alone yeah. the fact that Clev just put everything into a singularity. Yeah. Uh, and luckily, the fight lasted long enough that the villagers were able to escape during the tunnels. Uh, as well as like with um, Ifa and a puck. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I believe it was twelve villagers escaped from them, and three escaped with you. So mm -hmm. fifteen villagers were able to escape the Nightwing compound mm -hmm. being raided and oh, yeah. destroyed. Oh yeah, because there was the there was the twenty that also left before I even fought Clev too. Oh, you're right. So yeah. thirty five, thirty five were able to mm -hmm. escape, as well as Polly, thirty six. Mm hmm. Yeah. Got you. Okay. Dude, Not. yeah, I don't know what to say right now. I'm sort of also just reeling from this. I didn't <laughs> yeah. know it would end like this. I'm like, dude, dude. shit, this is how oh. it developed. <laughs> oh, man, dude. And this is all pre-written campaign, dude. Man, wow. Yeah. <laughs> dude, scripted. <laughs> yeah, all scripted. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, love crazy. it. Crazy. Yeah. Okay, then. Well, until the next session, everybody. Bye.